Hello, everybody. I think we're about ready to get started. See the rat jam is being used. Let's chat. So today is uh, just a bonus stream due to the fact that uh, the Easter event will be ending today. So we're going to do a variety of things, but I have a feeling a lot of it will still end up being RTTTF. So sorry, people that are looking to do that. I was actually looking at drop charts to see if there was anything of interest. If we were to try some, for example, the Penumbral Surges. I'm kind of curious about the remaining ones of those. Because I, I think the team agrees Penumbral Surge 1 was really good. I'm kind of curious about the other routes. The downside is that they are rather numerous. One second. Maybe we'll just do one by one going through these different ones. The downside is that I have to look up which items are actually good at where we need to go. So give me just one more moment. I think we'll get formally started. So Prenumbral Surge 1 dealt with Temple. So we could do potentially that one again to show it off. I kind of just want to go down them in order. Yeah, there's six, which is quite a lot. I imagine six has to be- yeah, six is tower, okay. So we'll- we'll work our way up to that. I'm just deciding what would make sense before then. So would it make sense to bring in... There are a lot of Demians. I'm just seeing what actually drops something useful. So Red ID would get Disco Brave Man from that. So I'm working on six mags, something like that. Yeah, see the problem is it's like really hard to eyeball what is more interesting for these. Sorry about the indecision. I know technically you could get Kamui's from like Hilda Tour and Purple, but like there's not enough Grass Assassins, I think, to justify it. It's kind of on the lower end. There's an okay amount of Rappies and Lilies. So it's more like, is there a really good middle group of rares that I'm not aware of? I feel like for the most part, no. Like, White ID gets Disco Bravemans from the Arlens, as does Red. So if I just want a million Disco Bravemans, it's okay. Yeah. I'm just deciding more if I want a Vivian or not. Because everything else is just kind of mediocre. Is technically White ID is the strongest. White ID would give us a uh, Rambling May, Disco Brave Man, potentially 13, another Disco Brave Man, God abilities. Yeah. So we're we're gonna we're gonna need help as we go through, I have a feeling. So I guess we'll do White ID first. So I'll, I'll host this the different characters. So we're gonna work our way through the penumbral surges. I'm trying to think. White for I guess I could bring in my white forest two four. There we go. Switch to PSL. This is Brandon Star Crix, it's a great starter weapon, a solid middle weapon. Crazy strong top tier. Yeah, two chances to disco brave man are pretty good. It also gives a chance of rambling may. I think it's fair for faux morals. Also, I think it gives access to 13 if we get a rare. So, like, there are some interesting endgame rares, and god ability's okay. That's, like, good fodder to, for new players. I just realized. Oh, no, we're good, we're good. So, I'll bring in a force. I thought about my raw moral, but it's fine. If I need to buff the whole team, team can just bring ATP or something. Oh, 
Actually, unless there's already a force here. Hmm. Maybe we'll let Murphy play that character. Let me play Raw Moral into it if Murphy's gonna bring in a force. Yeah, we're pretty early in, so I don't think there's many volunteers. It would result in a lot of kills. Thank you, Calvisha. Yeah, let's bring in a Raw Moral for this. No, 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 keep your FOMAR, Murphy, it's fine. We only really need one force. I can level another character while we're doing this. You're still in the awkward levels, sorry to hear that, Murphy. Yeah, we'll give people a couple minutes to potentially join. Chronoble Surge 1 was really good. The only downside to the quest is it really needs four people. Then it really shines. So a mix of force and ATP is probably fine. Check the pose, 1988 asking, what am I hunting? Well, the intent is to show off the quest. But for White ID Episode 2, that would be Disco Brave Man 13, another Disco Brave Man God Ability. Rambling May. So we're just gonna go through area by area. I'm thinking potentially is yellow is yellow ID stronger in spaceship? I'm also trying to think ahead a little bit here. What are there more of? There are 200 guild chicks? Oh my gosh. Oh, only 8 grands. Never mind. So it's more of a sorcerer heaven. It's a good sorcerer drop then for that place. So we'll just need one more player and we'll get started. Orange ID gets Gurren there. I was gonna say, whatever people want. Listen, we have a free slot. 67 Dell Sabres. That is a lot for a spaceship. So that, that's potentially a really good Daylight Scar candidate. The only downside is your. Yeah. So I think that would be RN's Heaven, <laughs> if I had to guess. If there were more. Brands. I would have said it would have been a yellow ID kind of run. But hey, Gurren Daylight Scar is pretty good for Spaceship. Okay, we got four players. We'll get started in a moment. I don't think there's anything too crazy on their early stuff. Yeah, Dub Chick, Guild Chick. I mean, 110 dub chicks is also a hilarious amount of Disco Bray, man. I'm not gonna lie. So I guess for people looking to do Gur in there, that's also actually kind of silly. Good morning, Toriel. Yeah, this character is not the most optimized, but at least I got over 1,000 ATP. So we should be mostly fine. So I'll be switching characters to match the IDs. Chat doesn't need to worry about it too much. in circles for a little bit. So yeah, what ID is also potentially really strong there. I just think through the sheer number of Del Sabers, a yeah, light scar might be fun to hunt there. There's 67 in the quest. There's also 100 wolves and 200 guild chicks, which is also hilariously high. There we go. For those that haven't seen the quest before, we're gonna be split up in a bit. Hopefully we are grouped sort of in a way that we can support each other. Otherwise we'll uh, rearrange it, I guess.
So the intent is that there's basically, for all the quests, two paths that could be taken. <laughs> if you're playing four player... Nice, I'm paired with, uh, Dengo. So basically, it's teams of two. And we're just gonna look to bully everything that we can. Make sure to use the console and then we'll get started. So do your best. We'll meet up occasionally, so if we need uh, buffs from Murphy, it should be good. So on the plus side, if I get to the other area before the other team, I can sort of help snipe their side. My damage is decent. Not like top tier or anything, so I feel like this is a fairly honest representation of like a either low geared 160 character or medium geared 130 character. Is it at least I have most of the basics? And then we'll meet up in kind of a masterful murder spree in the second area. So we basically just have to get through the first part. So depending on the comfortability of the players, this could go really, really fast. Okay, we're taking our first war. Most of the numbers are not like too overwhelming for the split paths. It just ends up being a lot of fun. And I like that they did it in a way too that we'll still get items from the other team. So if you do see stuff that you need, just let us know. Because there's a little point at the very end of the quest where you could choose to go back the other path if all you're doing is looking for items. Currently, I haven't seen anything of interest drop. So I'm not too worried about that currently. We're getting close to the, our first meetup. Got like two rooms to go. like stepping on the switches to spawn more enemies in this area. Thank you, Yashmanikov. You're probably one of my favorite mech guns. At some point I'll probably hunt those today. Because that's another really high enemy density quest. So yeah, we have Dango stepping on the switches to help speed this up a little bit. Thank you, Dango. cleared our little mini obstacle course room. So we're not too far off from the meetup. They basically time it so that it takes about four-ish minutes with solid power to reach the meetup spot. And if it feels like Murphy's like just starting his way, for example, we could just kind of assassinate them. Ouch. all these enemies. I'm trying to put them in combo kill range for Dango. Okay. I think this might be the meetup room. Yes. Okay, so we, we were in the meetup room. Did 
this. Cool. I need <laughs> no cure paralysis for me. Hmm. I'll wait a little bit for them. They're probably only about a room away if I had to guess. <laughs> and then we could probably assist with guns in this room to speed it up. Although technically if Dango wants to continue clearing, that's also fine. I'm just planning to snipe through. Okay. Hope they still got some enemies to kill. So buff Dango so he can go on for a little bit. I'm trying to keep an eye out for them. They're still not here. <clears throat> we'll wait a little bit. I do, I do want to showcase that the paths meet up. Fortunately, we're kind of really, we're both kind of high ATP, so we're definitely going to outclear just like solo ATP. But we believe in Murphy. Keep an eye on the area map. Yeah, see, they're one room away. There we go. I like that lone enemy. I can see the damage numbers. They're approaching. Nice level up. Okay, let's help them a little bit with their sign. Freeze those bad boys. Kill you. There we go. See, we're helping. Oops. Well, <laughs> when we're not shooting the wall, we're helping. See, if I hug the wall, I could potentially be buffed by them. If I really wanted to. But anyway, let's move on. <clears throat> let's go see what Dango's been up to. Oh, Dango's been, uh... Dango's been busy. <laughs> I found Dango. Yeah, these quests potentially entering the RBR is really crazy, because I think it's already a fun quest. It can be a little awkward, I guess, depending on who's paired together. So we're going to always make adjustments. So if we need more damage on one team, I could probably fill in, for example, for the force. I'm trying to think, do I have an orange ID character other than my force? Maybe not. So, so far, nothing too crazy has dropped. I'm not going to go back for a mine material. Okay, so this would have been the other meetup area. Okay. What are these? So, downside, though, we're not going to have people up top to help with that. That's going to be interesting when we get there. So eventually they'll appear up top and we can help them. So we'll probably come back and assist with it in a little bit.
Oops. Let's not die to Hildel. So I could see they're very close to the room that we're interested in. Uh, I almost never go up. Welcome, Grand Knight. Hope you're doing well. Aw, oh, this is one of the final rooms. That's fair. Yeah, they're like the room before the one that we can assist in. So we can basically help them clear this whole last area. Which is really good. Well done, Rob. Nice. Ashmanikov, you betrayed me. Material though. It's XP wise for episode 2, I mean, we're getting 100 XP a, a second, even with like moderate clear. So we're done, so I'm gonna go back and help them clear. Because they should be in the other area. Indeed, they are. Let's go back and assist. bringing the damage. There we go. Teamwork. <laughs> it's still time. I wonder what the other route is all about. I kind of want to explore the bottom door. Is it? Oh, is it just items? It has to be just items. I mean, I might as well just check these then. There we go. Alright, so they're done there. So they're gonna warp up to the top now. So we check those. They should be here. Oh, unless they had one more area to clear. Oh, they're just in the room before. That's fine. So yeah, then we can just help murder through here. Now the enemies can walk through the laser gates here. So as soon as they come in this room, we can assist full time. in an awkward position. I think we could get him, though. You can see that? We got buffed by Murphy, despite being in the other path. I kind of like... Now we're just taking it home. Then the rest of the map will be a uh, four-man team, so the enemy density will climb pretty much exponentially. So not too bad. Tower seems kind of nightmarish to split. I couldn't even imagine what that would be like. I should probably bring the raw marl there just for demons. Versus like a full fledged force. There we go. Then we don't touch the console unless you want to work back. Just be careful about it. Otherwise, I think we're good. Let's go to Temple Beta. I do have Mag Blast if team wants to use it. I'm not sure if the rest of the team has it or not, but I, I figured I'd throw it out there. About Wario Blast. Time for Game Boy Bomberman. Say, where's the rest of the team? Oh, they're just going back for items or something. Okay. I don't see Dango at all. I'm gonna put down a safety reaper for Dango. 
So if Dango needs to come to us, he could take my telepipe. From wherever he is. <laughs> I'm assuming he's looking for a photo drop or something. I didn't really see anything of interest drop on the other side, unless I really want to go back for Jalen 15. Which, personally, I don't. So we'll give the team a couple courtesy minutes. Oh, you're looking for the egg. Okay. In the meantime, Tori and I will move a little further forward. Might as well take advantage of the buffs. Tutorial using the sword, so I'm gonna focus on single target damage. Pop some boxes. There we go. The power of gun. Good idea here, Indie Belra. So we'll clear the first room and then we'll wait for the team in here. Although I do recommend that if somebody ends up getting a good item, my recommendation is to ask the other team to put down the telepipe. It goes much faster that way. some of these. For me, I saw nothing, so I didn't request anything. Okay, they got a Disco Gray Man. I'm gonna put the Telepipe in this room so they spend less time walking. So all they gotta do is take mine when they're ready. Joined by Dango. Let's proceed. We'll find Murphy eventually. Ouch, I've been bodied. Still that held out walk through the solid wall. What a cheater. So yeah. Once we have a group, I think we'll donate for a super buff. Is it time to quit? Nope. I'm gonna Ryuka on this side though, so he's less of a walk. Goodbye, Lily. Welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. I was gonna say, Mur Murphy's going deep. <laughs> it's like, I want the egg. Well, I'm low on soul atomizers. There we go. We caught up with Murphy. Been a rough day. Sorry to hear that. Let's, uh, let's use Magblast. I have twins. I'm assuming other people can at least donate. That way it'll be a nice big super buff for the finish. There we go. Raffy, no. So yeah, this character gets some levels. If she doesn't get knocked down by laser, it's not the end of the world. As long as she's doing a run, 
versus, like, pure XP grinding, I think I'm happy. Yeah, you're getting combo killed by me. Get out of here. Open on the switch. Ooh, lots of lilies. I'm gonna zap. I'm gonna zap again so we don't get hit. Got a striker unit on her. Let's try to figure out what else was taking up her inventory. Well, hopefully, some PSO will help lift your spirits a bit, Chris. favorite episode, Chris. We're even going to do your favorite area at some point. We go through these. So we're going to do potentially orange spaceship. I should probably... Let me go up here. Toriel can stay down there. Because we know more monsters are going to spawn. Oh, never mind. The whole team went up here. I will go back down there then. The downside is that I think I can snipe downwards, I can't snipe back upwards. So I guess in theory I could shoot the center from up here. Yeah. Okay, at least I can pick some of them off. Guess that works. Rappy. Oh, the Rappy's like just out of range. That's what I was worried about. Oh well. Check where this takes you for future reference. Oh, both of them take you center. That's fair. Okay. So we could potentially also do a little mini split up in, in a bit. We're going to be coming back to this room. I might leave a Ryuker here. Enjoy your trap replenishing. So we could choose to go up or down. I'll mix things up. I'll, I'll go with Murphy. I think Dango and uh, Toriel could probably out ATP everything. So Murphy and I will look for either the down path or the up path. Oh, I got insta-killed. That's unfortunate. I did shoot, it was just slightly too slow. Rip me. Downside. Raw morals tend to not have good EDK. But that's fine. We got buffed. Such is their life.
There we go. Much better. This side. Okay. Open up the southern route. Or switch engaged. It's not switch engaged. Hmm. I think that was a good split. I was gonna say, if we needed to warp back, my warp is here. Thank you for hitting. The Lily I was worried I was about to get destroyed. I move my warp out of the way. The way it's less likely for people to step on it by accident. So now we just kind of pick a side and murder. So let the team go there. Toriel is soloing all the entire enemy army over there. What a quest. I definitely want to be in the middle because they have Yashmanikovs. I could just kind of assist whatever. Look at the damage. Just getting deleted now. Even with the long break in between, we're still getting over 90 XP a second. <clears throat> Which I think is really good. So we lost almost 20 XP a second, so I think we would have been 110. That's definitely more than good enough for a massive kill quest plus everything else. Let me assist this side a little more. Say, team, don't don't leave the side you're on. Uh, don't want to get hit. I'm flipping between it. I'm the middle person. Murphy and I can hit both sides. There we go. No, no, don't leave. <laughs> you can shoot from your side with pistol. That's fine. Otherwise, uh, bad things will happen. There we go. I've been the ambushed. Get away from me. I like that I can just basically spin in place, like a Magiot turret. Ooh. Can't target for some reason. There we go. Operation Protect Murphy. Man, the DPS is just so fast. There we go. Good job. See, so it would have been about 114-ish without backtrack. It's pretty good. I, again, I expect like barely 80 on certain quests that you grind for hunts. So many raw enemies killed there. Surprisingly no eggs though. So I think I'm going to be forced to use a force, which is a bit unfortunate. So I might ask Murphy to switch just for this one. Don't think I have an R in anything other than that. Take these. Sell this. Put away our many, 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 many items. Not bad. Not bad. 
Orange's probably one of my least played IDs. I'm thinking about it. I think Orange actually is my least favorite, slash Oran. I don't really have a reason to run them most of the time. So they, they don't get red rings. They're, they're like out in terms of that. They do get parasitic gene flow. But I don't think I was like super crazy about their drops. Unless I wanted the low chance daylight scar during RT. And technically they get Sincesta and Temple. So I guess if you're really bored and want to fight rare Hildevers. It's, it's okay for that. I think they were fine for episode 4, though. Because they get the option between, like, Rupika, Lambda Arjun, Ophiel C, Sincesta, Beato 1, and Kunai. Which is kind of everything that I want, honestly. So I should probably play more Orange episode 4. Yeah, I think Orange episode 4 is fine. But we'll, we'll continue down the list. So I'm going to bring in a Super Force. Oh, she doesn't have Crimson Coat Equip. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to bring in the ATP, but she doesn't have it. Okay. Let's go to the next one. There are a hilarious amount of robots. So if you have Hell or whatever, I would highly recommend it to speed this up. I'll probably be me good spamming to some extent throughout the quest. Oh, she doesn't have a V801 full time. Interesting. Shows I need to play more orange ID. I mean, I don't mind lucking into Excalibur Conjures. I don't remember how to play Ramar. I'll have to play Fomar for 20 hours. Oof. So, double add a V801. I mean, she might as well just keep it, right? The V801, I mean. I guess I could give her three seals. Jerdy is piercing me good. I don't really need to worry about that. She's 12 MST from Cap. I guess I could try to slice her fanatic if I'm really desperate. Oh wait, I don't think she could use it, actually. I don't think I have enough ATP. Not that I see it in my bank anyway. Damn, I need to get more of them. So probably at some point, Chad, we're gonna run for more Slicers of Fanatic. Which is kind of a shame, because we have been doing a lot of pink ID underground. The fact that we've only gotten like one or two, and my ult 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 characters don't have stuff. She originally, I think, was pink ID, and then I changed her to orange, because I realized I didn't have an orange first. Worse, I mean. Although, actually, looking at her outfit, I might have made her white ID. Which is a shame. I should probably change her ID again in the future. Make another orange dedicated force. So we're going in with God Technique, Nidra, and Geo Cloak. My resistances are super stupid. Because I potentially have to be able to resist sorcerers. That's how I'm also viewing it. So three seals, double adept, I think will give me some safety against them. Those guys are going to be nightmarish. If I have Glide Divine, I'm up to... How much Shady Cat? 63. It's pretty good. So I, sh I have a little better than 50-50 to live. She's so many things that wiggle when you beat stuff in episode 4. The hair lock, the bow. Perfect episode 4 character. So I'm going to take advantage of advanced heal range, maybe. Depending on how often we get cl close together to keep the other team alive. Murphy achieving true power. Use 
You can't fool me, doors. I remembered. Left equals BR. I did it. Uh-oh. We lost Murphy. Interesting, there's just a central switch. Ominously there. I just want to make sure that I can... It's not the button I... Oh, yeah, that should be naked. Okay. Okay, so we have this. So what do we do? So we're all here. What does the game want? Is there something else that we need to interact with? Oh, there's a console over here. Okay, never mind. Did not see it right away. So we have... Okay, so now we can choose who goes where. I'm gonna go with... Probably... Dango? I'm gonna go with Dango. Well, let's buff the team first. Okay, so I kind of like the ability to pick who your team is a little more than the previous one. But I have a feeling this one's gonna be a big difficulty spike. Oh my gosh, I'm me getting? Wait, it's actually working? Hold on, I'm, I'm getting a real clear? That's impossible. Oh, it's like I'm combo killing, chat. Look, I'm doing things. Yeah, I figure two ATPs together will be fine. Although I'm very surprised at how effective Megan is here, given that it's not V502 Megan. Equivalency. Okay. So we're, we're helping. I can interrupt Delt Sabers at least with our uh, other abilities. You know what? They're very kindly lining them up. That's actually not too bad for forces. I'll take that. Dango. Yes, yeah, so we're making progress. Thank you, Megid. Eventually, we're gonna fight sorcerers that I'll be like, please help me. Oh, I killed the Delta Saber instantly. Oh, that's so satisfying. That is so satisfying. Delta Saber tried doing like a horror movie jump scare on me. I was like, mm mm. It's a lot of traps on the side. So yeah, I, I actually think this character is kind of okay here. Like, I'm getting Piercing Megid. I mean, otherwise I'd play, like, what, Fomarl with, uh, Disco Brave Man slash, uh, Demonic Fork. Okay, where's the switch? to do this to interrupt them. Oh, I got the Megid kill. There's the switch. I'll hit it. Intense music as we fight the boss of Gilchik. I'm burning a ton of TP, but that's fine. Usually that's a phrase not uttered in episode 2. They hit a switch. Ooh, look at how many enemies spawn in here now. Piercing me good? I, oh, I got two enemies with it. Three enemies. Hey. I'm not completely dead weight here. That's all I'm happy about. I think I've one-shot the pan arm. So if we get a proper lineup, we get more than one me good on them. So, it's actually kind of fun with me, good. Yeah, 
Hey, like, look, that's that's real. I'm using God Technique to boost my kill chance. I'm gonna freeze these enemies for Django, maybe. Or not. That's fun. Let's make sure that they don't do anything. So we're basically just... We have a 20% chance, but if we hit, like, four targets, it's not too bad. Oh, can other team uh, drop a uh, telepipe? See an event egg. I want... I'm gonna, I'm gonna help with the uh, brands first. Uh oh. Debuff into heal spam? The true combo. This is the Reaper's power. Okay, finally frozen. Let's see if the other team has a telepipe for me to take. I'll pop this for Nango. Nice. I want that event egg. Then I could reapply their buffs. Hi, team. Yeah. Now back to Dango. Oh, I missed uh, Toriel with the buff. My bad. I got Murphy with it, though. I mean, I guess I could just go back. It doesn't really matter. Let's go back. Wherever they went. Oh, they went that way. That's fun. They moved on. Oh, unless. Yeah, let's go help Dango out. I think Dango just has one room to clear. I'll put a Ryuker down. On me good. There we go. Damn, there are so many enemies here. Look at this. Team could join in if they want. I figure we're all meeting up in the same area anyway. Nice. be the last wave. Apply buffs to Dango. Or there's just a giant brand, so that's fair, I guess. He'll Dango through that. Nice. I think we're about to warp back to the switch. Oh, more paths opened up. Interesting. I don't know what path they took. I'm gonna put a warp here, just in case. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, the, the team didn't even say they took a path, so I was like, oh, okay. Okay, we'll, we'll just guess. So yeah, we're in the purple path, at least. That explains why they were not joining. So something opened up, maybe, when we hit the other switch. Deep up for Dango. Pop that. Regen some TV. So I, I kind of miss having some of the meetup areas. Like our rooms don't really connect with each other, but I guess that's very specific for Temple. Technically, they could have split a larger room, put like a laser fence in between it if they really wanted to. But hey, we're making progress at least. I was curious if the uh, fireball would hit it.
<laughs> I feel like this room is called the Ranger Check. Okay. Oh, speaking of laser gates. So maybe they were here earlier. Yeah, they passed us already, I think. Debuff time. <sighs> Megan, please. There we go. Nice, I got a couple freezes. Hit the switch. That was the best freeze of all time. <laughs> Chad, I got the six freeze, one Rabarda. That's never happening again. Think about how rare it is for it to use the full freeze rate after the uh, hilarious nerf. That was the no button. Oh, sounds like the soundtrack ended. We'll tend to that in just a moment. Was just ultra rude. Leave me alone, Del Saber. I want nothing to do with you. We debuff them for the team. I could target it with Rafoe, but it doesn't pop it. It's so sad. Should have brought a handgun just for that. Stink to ew. I debuff the room. I gotta get a freeze going or a Megan kill. Okay, we'll take that. I think I kill with Megan? Get that die fluid for sure. Oh, it does it can be popped with multiple? Okay. Let me try then. Oh, I got absolutely wombo combo to death. I mean, when it's in the sky, not when it's on the floor. When it's on the floor, it definitely works. I feel like if it didn't work... That thing took like three Rafoes, didn't pop. Cause it pops instantly to like Rabarda. I don't think Rabarda has infinite vertical. I might try regular Foey. Yeah, let me try regular Foey over that and see if that works next time. Being bullied. No, they do so much damage to me. Oh, that kind of worked against the uh, big old brands. So we could see the other team from there. Enjoy some buffs. There we go. I got Toriel with the buff. That should be everything, then. So we can hit the switch. Oh, hello. <laughs> Main room is now a trap. Be careful. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I was not expecting Barans. I died. Rip me. Hello, Barans. What, what a very rude spawn. So I guess... There's now an up and a down path. I guess we could just go as a group. Oh, this is just for boxes? Yeah, I was like, oh, opposite end of the room, Varan's Not my favorite. 
I, I don't have meter. The most I could do is donate. Oh, so here's a healing circle. That's not bad to know. Which team could get the freeze trap. So northern part is that. So what do we need to do now? We hit a switch. Is it just this door is progress? Okay, this door is progress. We'll pop all the boxes. Yeah, stupid brands indeed. So I guess if the team has mag blast, we could use it in here, maybe. Interesting, the team came from different directions there. Classic episode two. <laughs> Imagine these are about to become the hell arenas. I'm gonna do my best to freeze targets and debuff. Should I put vice staffs with some spamming ice? The XP here is a little slower, but that's also probably because horses can't do as much here unless they're like ATP focused. That's a lot of sorcerers. I prefer not to deal with these. Okay, I got a couple freezes. And a clutch freeze. That made it a little less terrible. Big swing. Quadruple freeze. Got him. So I'm not bad at popping the switches at least. Oh, you can just walk through this? Um. I guess because it changed colors, maybe? Yeah, team, if you do want to do the super buffs, you should probably do it now. Once we're done with this room. I think it's like an aesthetic choice. Like, you see the lasers change colors. Like, it goes from purple to blue. It's a friendly laser. Yeah, the best I could do is kind of Zalore. And maybe throw out some Migids. Maybe a Fireball. Yeah, there we go, I Migid it. Alright, so I'll donate. Nice. Super buffs for the team. We are killing a very high number of enemies. I mean, they said like, what, 200 robots by themselves? It's like comparable to a quest, let alone the all of the other robots. Nice event, eh? Ooh, this feels like a Baran sorcerer room. This feels awful. I don't like this room. I don't think I like what it promises. There we go. Let me make the switches over there. Good call. They're already dead. <gasps> I'm in the pain circle. I don't think I want to be here, chat. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. I don't think I like that. I don't need PB. <laughs> don't hit me anymore. Oh, they all clumped in one player. Damn, I think with the between the buffs and the Zalora, they are just absolutely melting. Your ears, you love it.
I mean, I don't know about you, chat. That I'm getting kills with Megan despite people having level 79 shifted deep hand. I'm putting in the work. <laughs> I was gonna say, where's the brand wave? Come on. Oh no, you're loading more sorcerers. That's fair. We'll slightly lower the volume for chat. Give me a second. Not the Chaos Bomber. But so far, not too many drops, sadly, for me. Put away some Easter eggs later, I guess. The meaty S needle hits. Oh, there's switches on the wall? And I just press it, or do I need to shoot it? Might need to shoot it. Okay. All these enemies, no. Oh, they're so dead. Get freezed. I guess that's the start button for the waves. That's that's creative. I've never seen a quest like this in episode two, at least. And this is what I like. Like, there's some walking, but there's like a lot of enemies as the payoff for the walk. Like, it doesn't have to just be like one room. Like, I feel like these rooms have a lot of personality. We we're talking about this earlier. Of what makes a quest fun? That is a lot of Del Sabers. This this is the oops. Daylight Scar room. Oops, all Daylight Scar. There's another switch. I think I could hit with Zond, maybe? There we go. So I guess the switches pop in one by one, which is interesting. So I imagine there's room for two more. And I said before, I really like that as a mechanic, you choosing when the next wave appears. It's always been one of my favorite mechanics. The team is just absolutely slaughtering out here. Another split path. Might be another split path, I'm not sure. I'll go with the team for now. I'm gonna put down a telepipe in case we have to come back here. So many sorcerers. I got a freeze. Double freeze. Here you go, team. It's as much time as I could give you. Oh, I almost thought I killed it with Megan. That would be amazing. There we go. Got a freeze. They're just exploding right now. I don't think I need to do anything else. GG to the enemy in the corner, just getting bullied by Red Sword. The double freeze. Nice freeze, Chow. Well, there's oh, we're we're in like full pick a path mode. Oh no. Oh, they're, they're, those are just for items. Okay, that's better. I was, I was worried. I was like, oh no, are we splitting on a split? I hope not. Interesting structure they made. Leave me alone. Oh, there we go. Look at that freeze. I was gonna say, you're getting hell needled today. <laughs> Slash spread needled. Get out of here. Stupid robot. Material. Just 
got bullied through a wall. Rip that enemy. Oh, I like that. Then they come. Oh, that's a neat way to do gates. I like that. On the plus side, Rabarda does damage their damage crystal the most. While well, going for freeze chances, I might actually pop their sur Surrey crystal. Nice of NA. I must go deeper. I imagine I'm gonna get ambushed here soon. It seems about right. I was gonna say, I might as well just go for the Migan. It's the only way I'm out killing that level shifted Ivan. Lots of boxes. Interesting. And there's like a little. Thing we can almost interact with. Hmm. Oh. It opened up anyway. Is this gonna take us back to the main room to clear the other path? Oh, oh no. It's much worse. Oh no. Um. Oh, I beat it. I did it. I killed something. And episode two is a force. We may be in trouble. Welcome to the death arena, pretty much. Yeah, I have definitely never done this quest before. What was down the other path then? Was that just treasures that we missed? I'm semi-curious. I still have a warp there in case we need to get back there. Kill the team, let the team kill the sorcerers. It should be GG for them. All their crystals got popped. They literally can't do anything. Oh, there's a Gurren. Wonder if he came with any good hits. Gurriel came. Oh, actually. Gurriel found with 25 hit. Wow. Okay. Ooh, fan fan Toriel down a little bit. He's running hot. <laughs> Hello. Damn, you made a banner, Toriel. So people will combine that with uh, Shuren, by the way, Toriel. So be very careful with how you combine it. So you need basically an average Shuren, since it'll only take the stat of one item. And that'll make you... I think it creates Jizai, if I remember correctly, which is a pretty strong beat stick. So if you're looking for a, a replacement for 1v1s, because Red Sword is good, it's not good versus uh, single targets. If you have something like a Jizai, it would just absolutely delete everything. Dango jealousy intensifies. So there's a warp here. Where does this take us? Uh, okay. So there's a laser switch thing, but I can hit it from the side, right? Okay. Oh, this just, is just trolling. That's fine. Welcome, Daddy, for show. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're trying out Printable Surge, and we just got a, uh, super rare item to draw. A Gurren with hit, specifically. So congr congratulations again to Toriel. The only thing that would really round this out if Toriel somehow got Daylight Scar from these. Can you imagine? There's still a chance for it. We are not done with the dungeon. Oh, I want that tri-fluid so bad. I've been burning so much TP. There we go, Megid worked. Come on, Megid. Come on, Megid. It's a 50-50. This is like the only thing they should win at. Oh no, that's a oh no, that's a horrible assortment for me to fight. Oh, the freezes though. There you go, team. It's all you. 
<laughs> just chop, chop, chop. That's not what happened. I'll pretend I assisted. I hit the switch. I might as well just throw piercing Negan at the enemy. It's better than doing literally nothing, and I don't really need to debuff them, given how powerful the team is still. Although soonish it'll wear off, which will be sad. Come on, Megid. Come on, Megid. Rip. One in four lied to me, chat. Oriole finding the anti-android rifle seems mean. So many sorcerers. Well, Chad, I guess if you wanted some sorcerer rares, there's uh, a lot of those in Del Sabers. And a decent amount of pan arms, too, honestly. Sting tip. 20 hits, sting tip. Come on, I don't need those. Nice level up. Enjoy the refreshment of traps. We didn't even see all the other paths, but... Honestly, this has just been... chaos. Good luck surviving team. There we go, let's heal team. <laughs> this room is still going, oh my gosh. <laughs> See, now we're getting about average quest XP. If it gets any lower than that, not worth. But honestly, the sheer number of those enemies is just silly. So I think if I was playing a slightly better class for it, if I had like a raw moral, for example, we would have been clearing much faster. So apologies for that team, I just don't have another orange ID. Maybe that'll be something I make in the future. Yeah, the 25 hit Gurren should be quite something. Just make sure you tech it properly, Toriel. So just make sure if, if it holds it and it says 25, that it rolls up to 35. If it doesn't cancel out, please don't identify it at 25. You'll make everybody very sad if that happens. Remember, the techer lies to you. He, he better say 35. If he says less than that, you definitely hit cancel. You do not accept that. Leads away. What are we doing in terms of items? You know, photon drops and event eggs are kind of competing with each other. They're very even, chat. They're both at 90 something at the moment. It's quite something. Yeah, I think I have a spare Shuren if you wanted to make a Jizai. It's not on this character, though. I have, like, junk ones that are meant for combining. Because Jizai is pretty strong, and since you're using one that's meant for groups, being able to swap between, like, a Jizai and a big sword makes a really big difference in damage. Because in the time it would take you to do, like, 1600 with the big sword, you'd probably do, like, 2800 plus. That'll lead to a lot more combo kills. Therefore, faster clears versus 1v1s. Let's load up some new Bomberman stuff. 93 eggs. Yeah, there's quite a bit. I technically have more. They're just on the other character bank. I don't know if I ever want to do anything with them. They're just kind of sitting there at the moment. Oh, I definitely have Bomberman Quest. That game looks familiar. Let's let up one more soundtrack for after this one. I vaguely recall Bomberman Max. I might have had that, I'm not sure. Okay. 
So let's let's investigate what would be good for the next quest. Put on my window for that. So Penumbral Search 3 has 102 geese. You'll skip the next few, sure thing, Murphy. It has 76 Olgivens. Oh, that sounds like Pink ID, right? Isn't that Excalibur? Yeah, that's Excalibur. So this seems like a crazy quest. There's only a couple Gaigwees, not a lot of Gibbles. A decent number of Miracles, though. Does Pink ID have fun things there? Not really. Yeah, so I, I don't know what the stats are to answer that tutorial, but if it doesn't have a number, you can't get it. Just make sure if it's said 25, you roll it up to 35. Just just make sure you do that tutorial. Don't don't down tech it by accident. Because you could you could junk the item that way. You got it with 35? Okay, you're good. Uh <laughs> Okay. I guess I can help Toriel with this. One second. Okay, so the weapon that you have equipped will be the one that gets the stats, Toriel. Let me get you a Shuren. One moment. One of my two S-Bank characters has it. It requires... What level do you need to be to make this combination? A hunter with at least 800 ATP. <laughs> You're a new cast. Of course you have 800 ATP. You're above 100. You, you have it. I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> if you don't, that would be like some like Twilight Zone moment. <laughs> like, there's no way. There's no way you can't just make this. <laughs> I'm like, I think even Rangers around 140 will probably be able to do that. ATP wise, let alone a Hugh cast. So I'm going to check my bank real quick for Toriel. And then we'll get started with the next one. I think that's an important enough of an upgrade for Toriel. We'll skip him grinding grass assassins in caves. It's really boring. Spoilers. If somehow you don't, I'll help. Yeah, if anybody has just junk Shurins, just feel free to give them to me, because these are the moments of why I hold them. I don't go for the runs itself. Yeah, I have one Shurin that's all zeroed. Yeah, I have like a junk Gurren and a junk Shurin at any given time. So let's lobby. So come join our game, Toriel. I'm gonna make one just for you. Yeah, just called it Ziggy a password. So hold your Gurren in your hand and then go consume this item in the other inventory pack. So there you go. That'll save you some time. So they combine into a ridiculous twin sword. It also is hell as a special. So having a 35 hit hell is kind of disgusting, honestly. I think that is like such a massive power upgrade for you. It's like not even funny. So make sure you hold the Gurren, you equip the Gurren. You equip the Gurren and then you use that. So Gurren in hand, then go to item pack and consume the Shuren. It'll say use if you have at least 800 ATP. Which I would assume at 131 is a Hue cast with any kind of mag you hit it. There we go, I saw the poof. Now you're, there should be a new weapon in your inventory called Jazai that should have the 35 hit as long as you were quick with it. So I, I would recommend playing with that for a while, by the way. If you want to see what it does, we could briefly go somewhere. Go to VR or whatever real quick. So I think Toriel will like this weapon. Yeah, and you can see it double hits, and it is massive damage. That special is insta-kill, so if you get something that boosts insta-kill chance, it should be pretty good. So we'll see Toriel's reaction to the damage. We are on normal, but whatever. <clears throat> Oops. Bodied. So let's witness Toriel's damage as the Hue cast. Slapped. 
Yeah, so without any buffs, he's doing as much damage as Red Sword was doing with buffs, but with no buffs. <laughs> That's so dumb. Slap! <laughs> yeah, it's gonna say normal, but no shifted means you cease the lower damage. So yeah. So this is this tutorial. Whenever you're 1v1ing something, just pull those bad boys out and delete them. <laughs> just like, no mercy, delete them. So that is your single target damage by far. Everything will die to that. So anyway, let's go and determine what we should do. So I guess I should play pink ID. So I could bring in a pink ID... Fomarl? I think that's probably fun. I think I forgot to take my Adeps off, but I don't know if that matters. I'm not going to be using it for the other characters. I can only wear one Adept in Tower, which is the only other time I think I would do a Force. But anyway, that should be a very big, clear difference there. So yeah, let's, let's fight with the Fomarl for now. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else worth doing before I commit to pink. Pink's a pretty common ID just because it gets Excalibur. Um, it also gets Hang on Mila from Miracus, which isn't bad. Oh, I didn't realize they got Disco of Brain Man from Zolgibbon. That's actually OP. Wait, pink, pink is actually just solid throughout. Never mind. There's not enough Gaigwees to really consider it a Seal J Sword run. Yeah, I think Pink ID is just the right choice, unless I want V501s from something. Yeah, I think we have an open spot if anybody wants to join in on some Jungle Episode 2. So I'm gonna support as a force. Wasn't sure if you wanted to hop in, for example, Chris. So I'll be the force for the party, but this time I should actually have damage. Oh, and she has her own adept already, so I don't even need to worry about that. So we're just gonna re-equip her with Red Ring. You know, your classic V101, V101 Smart Link adept. What a classic. So yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready to party with this character. <laughs> this character is the ATP force for me. So I'm not super worried about her clear speed. Meryl OP, uh, she's coming to murder everything. Between glitching uh, Slicer Fanatic with 25 hit, by the way. 25 hit Rambling May. 35 Diska is okay. Also has a magical piece, just in case. Episode 2 is a no for me. It's not that hard. Unless you're a force. <laughs> Early parts are fine. I would understand if that was C better or whatever, it's just jungle. Meryl's gonna have a similar DPS tutorial. Maybe. Her damage is really stupid. So we still need somebody else. So we'll check in again. Okay. And parameters logging in, but let us know if there's anybody else that wants to join in some jungle. Like, this character is really good. I've just got Brain Man M13, so I should be doing some decent damage. I will basically not be spellcasting at all, except to apply buffs. Yeah, this character is the episode 2 killer. Oh, only 87, no gear, all oh, true true. Yeah, the, the later parts of episode 2 are a little too hard, I would think. I think once we're done with Penumbral Surge, we'll get that for sure in the game. I think definitely by the time we get to Tower, it'll be like... I was gonna say, if you want to join in, Hulk leave, it's all good. I think Imperimeter was only filling the slot. But it's all up to Imperimeter. I was gonna say, I brought in a serious character this time. Like, this character is <laughs> as optimal as I could get them, question mark. I'm like, shy of fixing their weapon percents. They got everything we need. There we go. So, highly recommended to bring in Hell. Funny enough, uh, Toriel now technically has a Hell weapon. So for future reference, Toriel, if you have a little reader that says EDK, if there's enemies that have like 50 EDK or less, you can just spin the wheel. <laughs> See if it just instantly kills them. <laughs> Higher hit attributes are better, basically the only upgrades for Meryl. Yep, yeah, pretty much. 
I mean, otherwise she has basically best in slot straight start to finish. The editorial. There's an item called uh, V501 and V502, which add 50% to your chance to insta-kill and 100% to your insta-kill chance, or it doubles it essentially with V502. So a lot of people will do hunts in tower to get V502, but there's some enemies in episode 2, like Sinnoh Barrels, or some IDs that are a little easier to farm, but they only get V501. Or like, I think, is it Blue ID? Chat could correct me if I'm wrong. Del Saber gives V501. So there's a couple enemies in episode 2 that potentially drop it. So getting one of those is a pretty big upgrade. I would say at minimum V501 would be useful, Toriel, because there are weapons that even Hucast can use. Like, Red Sword, Red Sword technically is Paralysis, but if you got V501 in, it means you're pretty much guaranteed to land it on most enemies, because they don't have a lot of resistance to that in general. So after a freeze trap, you can paralyze them, and they basically get stuck in it forever. Yeah, V501 is not expensive to buy either. It's not preferred over V502 for insta-kill, but the fact that it... The fact that both give the same uh, boost to Paralysis, Freeze, Confuse, you'll mostly use it for Paralysis, is pretty brutal. Oh, I didn't realize Toriel was orange. Oops. Could have had Toriel made the game. Make the game instead for the previous one. I gotta remember his ID. He's very, uh... Baran's colored. <laughs> or Garan's, technically. Okay. I think everybody's here now. So we did spaceship, so now we're gonna go to Galdavel. Green and orange are my colors, yeah. Nice orange ID pickup. Wait, hold on. Thought about it. Not getting baited this time. Grand Sasha Groot likes I wanted to hit things with a stick, pretty much. Alright, so we're definitely gonna buff everybody. Let's talk to the console. That's why only Brand's launcher is left. Brand's launcher with the wrong colors. Oh, the. <laughs> that thing exploding is quite something. Can I turn off the filter? Okay. I just figure, okay, so you could go to the quest board to make it not as dark. I had a feeling. Anyway, I think it's time to rambling May. Ooh, can't quite combo kill. I'll do some slicers then. So I can just normal combo this if I need to. Unfortunately, these enemies are just kind of weak. I don't really have anything I'm going to do here, sadly. Give me one second and I will change soundtrack. There we go. Well, you know what this character should have brought with her? The Vivian. That would have been kind of fun. That is a lot of odds. because it's funny. Hmm. These enemies are not really lining up in a way that I can take advantage of Slicer. Was, we need to use it on apes. Wait, did it just pause after one song? What happened? Oh, there's like three minutes of silence? What? Soundtrack people, please. It takes like 30 seconds to add a trim. The amount of effort needed is astonishingly low, astonishingly low to cut off dead silence in a song. It's fun. Welcome back, Chris. Three minutes of silence, your favorite song. And I was doing a double take with that. Is that as a lore? It's 20? Ah, I'll take it. 
Syringa. Let's see if I can get some useful Slay Syringa. rooms to slicer in hmm it's fine for melee don't get me wrong but for me I'm like I need distance we gotta work and immediately healing circle so we're gonna be coming back here and then two red warps so I guess we'll split up I'll take the right path somebody could join me in mountain I guess assuming they both go oh no they go to different areas uh let's say group then never mind if they were the same area, I would have been more willing to do that. What? Oh, they were over here. We'll figure it out eventually. I'm guessing we then go here and then we split. If they were going to the same area, I wouldn't mind the split, but the, I, I think we wouldn't just get any XP and it would be terrible. Nice hell. Where is this miracle? Oh, it's up the path, I was gonna say. Thank you, Trail of Hearts from Rambling May. So we hit the switch. And open up the other door. Okay. I've seen a couple quests that make you go up and down like that. I'm neutral towards them. The try grinder. <laughs> I was gonna say Toriel's having fun with the twin blades, I see it already. It is big damage. Oops. So I guess if I debuff, I can one-shot stuff. Just fair. I am a foam moral. So I guess as long as it's Allura, I could just go back to combo killing. Might be useful for me. Nicely done. I just see like the 800 plus. The dual wielding hunters. Yeah, the fact that that also hits five times on top of just being a massive ATP beat stick is just kind of silly. So hopefully that ends up being useful for you, Toriel, especially with your solo clears. It's like having shift on at all times, but in weapon form. There's a lone miracle somewhere. Interesting. Rude. Rip Dango. So I imagine we're going back to the central hub. Yeah, slowly. Sort of. Yeah, this is a good room for Slicer, I think. Actually, team is... <laughs> team is so strong, I might not even Slicer. There might not even be a point. Honestly, I'm watching the rate at which they're dying. It's kind of insane. They're just straight up getting combo killed. In which case, I'll just combo kill back. Leave me alone. So somebody crit for like 1200. So yeah, between the, the Shifta and the Zalor at this point, we should be good.
might trip the switch on purpose so we don't have to worry about it. I'm be real with you. Yeah, we're doing so much damage, it's actually not worth using Slicer Fanatic. That is so funny. Because before I would do it to, like, kind of land last hit combo kills. Well, that is a rude miracle spawn. I mean, look at that. I got a combo up before it died. Yeah, there's no point. Oh, uh, this is kind of a weird room to fight in. Okay, so we killed that, and it opened up the door back here. So my team is just finding items or whatever. You unequip me. Thank you. I got my revenge. Thanks, the frozen shooter. The hell. I'm just witnessing the hell. I gotta freeze. I think that's basically GG for them. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> look how fast they're dying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Team of like two hunters with the uh, single target weapons. A little, little silly with some, uh, some shift. Uh... And they're, they're close enough that we don't have to necessarily have Frozen Shooter, which is, I think, a big factor in determining whether Hunter is fun, quote-unquote, in certain areas. So, so far, this feels like Hunters can actually reasonably reach most of these enemies and aren't just being, like, full-screen sniped. Which is a good feeling. I believe these things are the ones that drop Excalibur. So I'm waiting for Toriel to potentially get a, like, 25-hit lame to Argent. We'll see. Yeah, these guys might be worth debuffing. Or, you know, that could happen. Wow. They're getting melted. Chad, I wouldn't have thought we would say that about jungle. Yeah, this quest is pretty fun. Because most enemy spawns are pretty close. Like, see how, like, I'm first in the room? But I could have reached it in melee with, like, minimal effort. So even if I'm like a Hugh cast, it's not too bad. Now we're back in the room we started in, but this time we could take the other door. There's a laser gate. So that lets us go where differently? Did that open up the other door? It did open up the other doors. Okay. I got time. <laughs> yeah, when there's like four or five miracles at once, that's where it becomes very unhunter friendly. But just like 1v1s, that's what the hunter wants. So we're back here. We can refresh traps, which is kind of nice. Make sure I get some TP back. And we can choose the other work. There's so many pods. The hell needle is real. I guess as a force, I'll pop them with Razan maybe to save the team some time. Is this like a legitimate use of my tech? It's not like damage matters for the spell. Holy. It's got absolutely butchered. I almost feel bad for them. Like, they are just absolutely melting. Why, hello there, Gibbles. I would like for you to chill out and then perish in that order. Presumably we go backwards. So I see like another oh there's another path over here. Yeah, let me let me debuff for the team, not that I need to do much here. Razan should pop these. Yeah, there we go. 
I'll, I'll actually use force text, but not for damage. <laughs> Even though, ironically, that one does do damage. There we go. That way team doesn't have to worry about that. I just look at the raw damage. I feel bad for the robots just, like, jumping into the twin, so twin swords equivalency. They're just getting absolutely demolished. Speaking of which, like, <laughs> damage. <laughs> just... They're getting lawn mowered. Oh, the enemy shifted itself before it died, like it was ever going to get a chance to do anything. So, yeah, so most of the rooms are a little awkward for Slicer Fanatic. Like, the long stretch rooms are fine, but if I'm like this close, I can't really Slicer Fanatic appropriately. I was gonna say, there had to be more enemies, because we didn't just throw the thing in front of us. There we go. Box popper. I think ID more often than not gets something useful in boxes. There are the amplifier slash barrier beasts. And another healing circle. Wow, this is... It's a weird feeling seeing episode 2 being generous. Feels wrong, almost. Thank you, Custom Quests. We popped a little hole in the place here. So then I guess we have to take a look at the control tower enemies, because I think that's next. Or central control area, excuse me. I always call it tower, I don't know why. I imagine there's going to be like a lot of gibbles. So maybe we'll, I might switch IDs for it. So we'll try to do one that I think is more optimal. What the heck is this laser gaze? Stop that. Oh, seriously? He's at me. The jerk. You're the team. I can be real with you. I'm just stepping on it. <laughs> I'm really being careful with it. There we go. Nice storm on. Oof. Am I seeing some 900s from the team? On like a, a single double swing? Yeah, I am. Yeah, that's disgusting. Satorial is just absolutely combo killing right now. <laughs> I am witnessing that. He's doing, I think, uh, 30 or 3,000 damage a combo. So, uh, a lot of damage. Oh, they're dead. I'm not even going to question it. GG. Yeah, like, those kind of murder flowers are fine. You know, the, you're, you're able to get in a distance close to them without just being absolutely locked out of playing the game. So if they're gonna have miracles, I'm completely fine with how they're how they've been used. There's maybe one on the hill, which was slightly more annoying, but everything else has just been you walk in and destroy them kinds of things. Take that look, material. Episode two mini map always confused me where to go because it never quite shows you the lay of the land. You have to actually look around a lot more. Yeah, like, this room would be fine to slice her in if I wanted to. Although there's quite a few obstacles throughout. Oh, there's some enemies down there. Did I leave a power material? I did. I think it was, like, two rooms ago. It's not in this area, I'll put it that way. If it's, like, not near me, I'm not gonna waste my time for it most of the time. I'll go out of my way for a luck material event egg. That's about it. If I feel like it'll slow the run down, I mostly just skip it at this point. But if it's like in the room that I'm in, I might as well just pick it up. Same thing. Well, more so with defense and evade. I will definitely not go out of my way, even in the same room, unless there's something else. Or I happen to be walking where it is.
Oh, teleporter. Slice and dice. Let the team handle that. Let me pop those boxes. This is just monstrous damage. I'm actually worried I capped out on power materials again in my share bank, to be honest with you. I'm running out of characters to hold them. Are the rocks going down every time we kill something? Uh, it's like a countdown to number of waves. That's really cool. See that, chat? Look at all this creativity. Look at that. So we got four waves left. Nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this, oh, this is what I'm talking about. Rooms where, like, you know, we have some walking, but, like, th then you get, like, a payoff room. This is the kind of payoff room that I want. Just lots of really fast waves. Oh, you're so done, Miracle. <laughs> I, got, I got one attack on it before it died. Holy. Deleted. I guess the team should be here for a little bit. Power attacks. There we go. I'm getting some kills. Putting in some effort. I don't think I can compete with two hunters, though, in terms of damage. I want to debuff here into a nice freeze, maybe? Oh, Terrell's Parasol dropped. Nice. It's a good support item for forces. Didn't drop with any hit, though, sadly. But it is useful for all the passive things that it buffs. Mostly just ranges. Technically, if you get it with high hit, maybe it's useful. On, like, Uniworld, for example. Keeps damage, it's just so high. sandwiched in that damage so it feels like i am like a real character at least because i'm double hitting with my sniper and then team just <laughs> she just walks up and one taps it from existence yeah that seems about right do i have room for a die grinder um i have too many escape dolls i mean i know i'm playing episode two but it's a little excessive there we go i found the little path so we went in a big circle it's kind of nice so what did, we, what did we unlock for this Unlock the warp here. Okay. Let's take the warp. Ooh, look at this. The bees descend, not the bees chat. Like maybe it's worth using slicer now. Team is still killing insanely fast though. Go for a glitch slicer here. Then land it. I feel like if there's more gibbles, if we ever get in a room with like three or four gibbles, even with the team's clear speed, I think it might be worth using slicer again. But honestly, a lot of these things I could just combo kill. So I might as well just combo kill them. It's when we start having stuff like this where I think it's worth it. If I can land one hit, it would help the team out. Yeah, like I hit that guy Gui for big damage. I'm getting hard bullied right now. Leave me alone. See buff the room. Uh, I'll pick up the HP material I'm right there. Oh, too early. 
Oh, got him anyway. So yeah, this room lends itself a, to be much more friendly for Slicer. So if I had slightly weaker teammates, I would, I'd be using it. I think when there's like multiple Gaigui's, it's worth using. So where does it want us to go? Do we go back up here? Because there's the path all the way to the right, but there's... Oh, this wall destroyed on the left. Okay, so we gotta go left. I mean, I guess I could just go for old-fashioned Disco. The downside is they're kind of evasive. <laughs> or I just landed anyway, I guess that works. Oh, miss. I do have Mag Blast, by the way, since I am playing ATP, if Team wanted to use it at any point. That would make combo killing much easier. Kill Toriel, so you can keep attacking. Hello, Miracle. Can't pick up that mine material, seriously. Goodbye, other escape doll. Yeah, escape dolls are fairly easy to replace. We now know a couple quests that just give them guaranteed if we really want them. I like that when they're frozen, I can just do basically all heavy attacks, which is good. They do a lot of damage. Up this one. Leave me alone. Rebarda? Rebarda? Yeah, get out of me. Get out of me, get out of me, whatever. Oh, vape material, never mind. Less exciting. Keep up what we can here. Watch Antorial do those 1400s. This miracle is so dead. <laughs> Just like, jeez. You cast power. Dango cleaving everything down, too. We'll do some RTs, I think, at some point for Dango again. Once we're done with all the surges. At least you fight an okay number of enemies here. a miracle that wasn't being attacked. Unfortunate. No worries, it happens. <laughs> Just... I thought I was out of range of them too on top of that. Ooh, I'm getting bullied. Healing time. Yeah, I think as we start getting towards seabed, we'll probably ask Toriel to sit out a little bit. And then if Chris wants to take some seabed tower action. I think Toriel is getting there, but it is not necessarily the most fun. Then it'll bring in maybe Hugh Neural into Seabed or something. Seabed and Tower, lucky me, your favorites. Yeah, I think Jungle is about as far as I would take most players, unless they were really, really comfortable. Like, I know Toriel has a good weapon, but it's like, power shows no mercy. <laughs> oh, but look at the robot army over here! What is this? <laughs> Get off me! Alright, we're gelling, gelling them big time. Alright, this is Slicer Fanatic Room. Get off me. Okay, we're gonna throw as many as we can. I okay, got one demon out. 
Oh, yeah, that worked. So solid XP. So again, if any of these were basically in RBR, I would play them probably all day. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep an eye out for that. Hopefully we get another one. I mean there are six of them. That's decent odds of it appearing that one of them would be fun. This is a box room. Oh, look at how many boxes there are. Wow. Thou shall receive boxes. That is one of the most generous quest ends I have ever seen. Holy. Then you take this warp to go to this warp to go to the exit. Interesting. Yeah, these quests really are amazing. See, yeah, I got a nice little Tyrells for later. So yeah, we're gonna go to probably the hardest area before Seabed. We'll see by how much, though. Put away some items. I'll need these. But can they make tower good? I we'll see. No, damn. The call out is real. So we'll see. So we're at 93, 93 on both of those. Pretty solid. Let's see. What would be good for the next quest? Let's take a quick look. We've done six before. Have we? I don't remember. It does have 57 ill gills and 61 del lilies, so we probably did void ID into that one. But for number four, there are 83 ill gibbons. So that would be a lot of disco brave mans potentially. There's actually a really low amount of gibbles. I would have thought gibbles would have been more than nine in central control area. I'm a little disappointed by that actually. So it's more of a barrel Spiegel given run. And there's not a lot of soul givens, which I think are the Excalibur ones. Oh no, Zol Gibbon is also a Disco Brave Man. Disregard. Kill these. Yeah, Soul Gibbon is Disco Brave Man. Ol Gibbon's named Arjun. There's only 30... Oh no, no, there's 83. Never mind, disregard. I'm, I'm, I looked at the wrong number there. I mean, I guess I'll just do pink again. I mean, it's 83 Excalibur chances. With Gibbles being an, an ult rare for me. Yeah, I'll just stick to this character. I was thinking there would be like a higher, like... Like, the... The Gibbons would be there, but there would be higher Miracles, or there would be higher Gibbles. But like, only nine? That's not a lot. I'm not gonna do a run just for them. Well, more chances of Excalibur today, I suppose. I was gonna say, you're welcome to join in this one, Toriel. It's not too different from the one we were doing. Beyond that, it gets a little... a little brutal. Yeah, it's just like... harder jungle. Which I think you're probably at the point that you'll be fine. But yeah, I mean, there's only like, there's only like 29 Sinos barrels and Spiegels. Like, I was thinking there'd be like 40 or 50, so that way, you know, we could do like, oh, now this is where we do a V501 run or something. Uh, there's not really that much there. So I'll, I'll see if I remember number six. Because we did do a lot of new tower quests, I just don't specifically remember which one six was. I do remember non-moving Epsilon, but... I don't remember what the rest of the tower was like. Ah, you will not bait me, orange door. I know I must go this way. What do you even say if I talk to you? Oh, okay. So I could leave the filter on. 
It's up to you, chat. Should I leave the filter on for the quest? Huh? No work destinations available. Oh, there's more than one console. That makes sense. So apparently we can work later there. So all the all the old gibbons we killed there are basically Excalibur chances. Leave it on for now, I guess. I didn't like it on the beach, but everywhere else is fine. Another luck material. Hm. So very big room. Not too bad for slicers. I just feel, though, with how much ATP we have, it'll be fun. If we were more ranger heavy, I would consider it. In case people were using, like, charge arm, for example. So if I happen to do a, you know, three quarters of their health, charge arm will kill them. But for hunters, I don't think it really matters. Gotta play to the group. Like the ominous hallways. Another old gibbon. Yeah, sadly, unfortunately, most of the time for jungle, it just ends up being a pink ID run. More often than not, because Excalibur is just so much better than other rares. But if there's a lot of murder flowers, there are other IDs that potentially get good things. Like we showcased, uh, if there's a lot of Merrick Coles specifically that are easy to reach, that would be like a green ID run. And a lot of IDs, like yellow, for example, uh, get some interesting uh, uber rares from those. It's just you won't find a quest with a lot of them, because one, they're not fun to fight, and two, they are really annoying if they're ever more than like two in a room. So most of the time, quest numbers for them will be pretty low. So doing hunts specifically for them is kind of brutal. Unless the quest just has like a lot of early, easy to hit flowers, sadly. Oh, I never restock my tri-fluids. Not that it matters, but I'm still at 9. I mean, you can see the almost the exact moment a hunter hits one of those enemies. Cyrus has found a Gita in 1975. Damn, I need to get one of those at some point. From Maricus. Interesting, I wonder what they were hunting. these in the meantime. Yeah, there's also not like a huge number of Gaigwees here either. So like you're not really gonna bring a sealed JSOR run here. Pop those boxes. I see a mine material somewhere here. We'll pick that up in a moment. one's probably just a defense, yeah. Not worth. Like the mix of supportive fire and insta-death. What a combo. So we're kind of going through the reverse of what some of the other quests normally do, to kind of make it a bit more fresh. Most of the time we climb the ramp and then go through the narrow corridors. The hell is so fast. This is why I'm like, yeah, I don't think Slicer matters. Sadly. Nice stun lock by me to stall for the team. Chip to level 30. I probably want to pick that up. So we have three warps. Interesting. I guess that's how they segment it. And then there's a healing circle in the middle. Wow. They let you know to go crazy with traps. They're like, listen, it'll be here in like 14 waves or so. Just trust. Leave me alone, giant robot. I want nothing to do with you.
So yeah, what we're gonna try to do is just land as many debuffs as possible. Since we're so ATP heavy right now. Not a bad thing. Ooh, got rid of you. Got rid of you. Debuff the Gaigui. Nice Disco Brave Man. Again, a nice solid pickup. First lap in, preparing second lap. I'm gonna use the healing circle for sure. Save myself some stuff. Oh. So it resets it entirely. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> I would not... Okay. I wouldn't have called the... I guess that's what the warp location's about. Once you finish a lap, you can go back. Interesting. So all of them are just so different. I think the first one is still probably my overall favorite. But these are these are pretty fun. Welcome Guardian Angel 2. Hope you're doing well. We are trying out more new quests. So for people that don't want to watch Oops All RT or TTF, it's there. Oh, speaking of which, I gotta go back to labeling videos. We have stuff, I think, scheduled all the way until, like, Wednesday or something with PSO videos. But, uh, yeah, we have a lot to get through. So probably Sunday will be my- Sunday and Monday will be my catch-up days, I think, with those. But at least stuff is scheduled for the rest of the week. Mostly. I am gonna use Razan here to stun lock. And hope the team has that. Find anything promising? Toriel got a massive upgrade. I have not really found anything, sadly. Toriel has been enjoying his new weapon. <laughs> Another healing circle? Wow, they really want you to go crazy with traps. Can you... I can't think of another quest that had this many healing circles right next to each other. It's crazy, chat. We just had one, like, two rooms ago. So I guess this is, like, cast heaven. You finally get, like, a million traps and don't need to die with, uh, escaped all on to get traps back. That lone given is so dead. GG. Gaigui descends. This might also be one of the first times where I'm just seeing rooms that honestly with Snow Queen would be really funny to hit because everything is so linear. One day we'll play with Snow Queen. Ah, oh, out of range. Boxes. Yeah, there's a lot of times where they're just in a very narrow line, which is what you want to see with Snow Queen. These guys. Miracle in here. Be careful. I'm gonna stun lock it a little bit. Damn, these things are evasive. Don't have a guaranteed hard hit on the second hit. Four Excalibur chances. I think I actually burst Miracle with the help of Rosen Shooter. There we go. Look at me. I'm doing the damage. We're definitely gonna debuff here where we can. I was gonna say, I'm 100% getting punched at some point. I wish I had an easy way to deal with these. Because if I hit them and don't kill them, they might just teleport and waste a lot of time. Interesting. 
So we did end up in one of the rooms we were in before. It's just another way to get there. Huh. I guess we could just leave the healing items there for later if I really need them. So we got a few more laps to go. Could go pick up that Grants level 20 if I really want it. Spoilers, I don't. Yeah, we're shutting down that Gibbles hard. I guess on the next run I'll pick up that Trifluid for later. I don't super need it right now. I got deleted. I missed the box over there, apparently. They popped out. Look at us go. And there's yet another healing circle. Just to make sure you know you get to spam traps. Again, this is the most I've seen in a while. Is that inbound? Oh, it's out of the laser gate. I was... There's healing circles in every direction. They really want to make sure you don't miss it. They're like, listen. They're just getting butchered. Poor Gaigui. He's just, it's facing the ire of many, many hunters. Everybody gets their own healing circle. Nice. Oh, hello, Gibbles. I wasn't sure where you were spawning at first. <laughs> I mean, just call call our team like the meat grinder. I mean, they're just getting mowed down, absolutely. GG to that enemy. Well, that's just rude of them. So I guess we're technically split, but we're so close it doesn't matter. I guess that works. Teamwork. <laughs> that lone spiggle. <laughs> they they sent that robot into die chat. You can't tell me anything like that. Dude, robots did zero chance. It was actually brutal. Oh, my materials, but I can't pick them up. That's sad. I want those. We'll debuff them. Multi kill. I died for the team, let it be known. There's a tri-fluid for later. Do you want that mine material? They're just absolutely exploding. Of shooting the turret every now and then. That should be fun. Give me all you want, little turret. I don't care. There's another guaranteed. Yeah, there's so many. Can you can you imagine if we do like seabed and there's like that many raw <laughs> healing circles? This is the most I've ever seen in a quest. We've we've passed by like the equivalency of like eight in a quest. Like some of them are, yes, we re we loop back to the room. But even individually, we're still at least at six. Ridiculous. Oh, I was getting excited. I was like, come on. Super drop for the team.
I'm just thinking what would happen if it was like a force raw cast and two who casts. <laughs> I bet it'd be one of the dumbest clears. So many traps potentially used. There we go. Beeping your way through the murder flower. Take that murder flower. Nice. I see the hell shotgun being whipped out. It's appropriate. We've kind of split up in the room to clear it. That's kind of neat. More old Gibbons. So I like the little mini splits with the divider. Oh, where's the miracle? No, I found it. I got sniped through the door. That wasn't fair. How many skip dolls do I have left? Zero. Oh god. Hurt my skip dolls. Good thing I put some away. I do want that tri fluid. Eventually. Uh, if team wants to don't. I'll, I'll donate if team wants. I, I don't have enough meter. Team is killing so fast, I can't build meter. <laughs> but I have enough to donate. And sadly, the only things that hit me mostly are just insta death. Goodbye, Gibbles. Perish. But I figure probably why not if the team wants that. If the team has it, I'll donate. I don't have it though. It's so interesting to me that they changed like the, the little mini spawns in here. Picture the team. Yeah, we should probably use it in this room if we're gonna use it at all. So I'm assuming the team is good for that. Uh, tutorial's ready. Okay. And go all twins, I'll donate. Yeah, we'll two donations. Yeah, these quests are long enough that Magblast is also relevant. Like, any quest that starts spanning the 20 minute mark usually is about when we would use it. Okay. So we just have to avoid Murder Flower and we should be good. Hey, hey, I said avoid Murder Flower. That was a deletion. I blinked. Gone. I've seen them pick for like 1300, I haven't even done anything. Well, on the plus side, Murder Flower dies really fast. No, I don't think so, Miracle. Miracle this. Yeah, I'm seeing like 1500 plus, I don't even think those are crits. No, they're not crits. That's something. Froze one. It's all you team, I'm gonna Zalore them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gone. I think they're combo killing with Zalore on the 4,800 health enemies. That, that seems fair. Oh, even even my damage is very silly right now. Thank you, Red Ring. It's a final war. No healing circles after this, so maybe final room. I do see the red war. At least we get to enjoy our buffs for at least a few waves before everything inevitably explodes. 
I'm basically simulating what if I was like a Hue cast base stats. Everybody's now simulating what if we were a Hue cast and beyond. Look at the damage. Holy. I don't even need to Zalore them, but I will anyway because it's gross. Can barely turn to face them fast enough. They're dying so fast. <laughs> oh no. Delete in. Okay, last big batch, probably for Excal. Power materials, HP materials. Do need to get these at some point. Goodbye. Yeah, we're joining at least two minutes of buff, so I'd say so far it's worth it. Especially since some of that was on Murder Flower, just to speed that up. I've been stomped. I'm getting bullied, help. <laughs> there we go. Nice level up for Toriel. This Hugh cast needs more damage. <laughs> Oops, I've been stomped. I'm gonna try to debuff them a little bit. There we go. Oof. Oh, Miracle. We tried over three minutes of buffs and counting. Worth. There we go. Mission complete. I guess the question is for Seabed, should I bring in a force or just a uh, Hunu roll for generic damage? Like, we'll eventually get Mag Blast, I would think, based off of these quests. And we'll have Chris take Toriel's spawn. We'll make him dodge the, the monstrosity of Seabed. Chris can bring in whoever he wants for Seabed. Look at our materials real quick. How many did we get up to? Oh, we're almost capped on mine, not power. Oops, flip the numbers on my head. I'm up to 14. What? Uh, what? <laughs> wait, I. Wait. Earlier this week, I got rid of all my luck material. I'm up to 14 again? Man, I've been finding a lot more than I thought during these quests. That is a very high number. Because that means I have a stack of 99 luck and 14 now. That is a lot. We'll sort our inventory. And I'm going to take a quick look at the next Penumbral Surge, which has 116 Domolms. So that would be... Monkey King Bar on Red ID, maybe? But how many Del Beaters do they have? Not a lot of Del Beaters. Hmm. I'm actually going to take a look at this. 44 Morphos is a good amount. So technically we could Twin Blaze into it if we wanted, if we wanted to do Sky ID into that. The other ones have decent Sky ID stuff, Standstill Shield. Cure Paralysis, not really. Let me take a look at this. So it's going to be not a lot of Del Beaters, so we can rule that out for the most part. How many Sinozels are there? Are there a good amount? Not really, only 22. Again, like, I would say like 40 would be a good number. The focus is clearly Squid and maybe arguably Morphos. Is it worth bringing in Sky ID? Hmm. Because otherwise, it would be like, Green ID would get Musashi Lava's Cannon, 
maybe Heart of Blaster. How many Del Depths are there? There are more Del Depths than Del Beaters. That's gross. Yeah, hop in, Chris. We're just trying to figure out what would be good here. So there's a ridiculous number of basic enemies. Monkey King Bar. Is Red ID the right choice? I'm just kind of looking at this. Because there's not a lot of Del Depths or Del Beaters, which usually have good items for people, so no Pink ID. Red ID would be Heaven Punisher, Yun Chang, Monkey King Bar. On top of good box rares. White ID would have Heaven Striker on a not really common enemy. Because there's 39 Sinozoas, but there are more Morphos than not. The alternative, I guess, is... Probably, honestly, Sky ID. Green ID gets okay Morphos. I don't think anybody else gets anything too crazy. Yeah. I guess it's up to the chat. Do you want to go for Monkey King, Yun Chang, Light Heaven Punisher? Versus Twin Blaze, Zamba. Blue ID is not super hot here, because their best ones are not high in number. So basically looking at the upper half of the list. I don't think team really wants to farm stink frames, or else it would offer that. I mean, I guess if chat also wanted, we could do pink ID. If you wanted low chance psycho wand, we could technically bring in blue ID or something. So let me know, chat. Which of those were you more interested in? Sky Twin Blaze? Okay. Then I'm gonna need some assistance. Or somebody needs to bring Raw Moral. If somebody's bringing Raw Moral, that's fine. Yeah, there's a really good number of Morphos there. And Zamba is an ult rare, is fine, I think. So we're gonna bring in C Bank. I had to think about that. Oh, Dango is Sky ID. Everybody's apparently Sky ID except for me. Um, I guess the question is, chat, do you want a force or do you want another character for damage? Because I imagine at least one of you is a cast. I imagine Chris is brought in Rock Spawn. I mean, honestly, I'd probably still bring in my Hue cast. Unless chat really wants a force. He needs to level. It'd be a little risky for me, but we'll be fine. We have Ramar, Raw cast, Humar. Uh... Let me, let me, okay. With that in mind then, I think a better choice. That's not what I wanted. Is it, did it C bank? There we go. All right, let me bring in Hugh New World then. He needs levels anyway. As long as I'm one of the characters that needs XP, I think that's fine. So that way we have stronger buffs, debuffs, and she's still ATP anyway. So I think that's still fine. I think Q-Cast is strong, but I think without, without like a solid bonus, it might be a little rough. Let's go for this. So I'll let somebody else that Sky ID make the game. Chris is back. So one of our Sky bots, there we go. I think Chris will make. Or Dango. Whoever. Then goes there first. I will just witness. Hot dogs. That is the name of the game. I was gonna say, somebody other than me has to make the game. I'm not Sky ID with this character. is gonna make sure so 
so we'll do Penumbral Surge 5. Band music from Bomberman Quest, although we're almost done with the soundtrack. So it's under extermination. There's only two more, I guess? It's not too bad. So I'm hoping my stronger buffs debuffs help the team a little more than Hugh Cast. Hugh Cast is good here. Oh, it scared me. I was like, don't you start a split. Don't you dare start a split. <laughs> it's like, not in, not in seabed, please. <laughs> I prefer not to. Like, my hair looks like a different color due to the filter. Looks very pale. Yeah, less swan damage should be pretty good. So I'm training a little bit of ATP for utility. Oh, I'm just stepping on the switch, I don't care. I thought the other door was progress. Kind of a weird start to the level so far. I mean, I'm not dodging the laser. We just commit to that after a while. We're like, nah. Alright, so without a debuff, we I can't combo kill. With the debuff, I can. Okay. As long as I just start my turn by debuffing, this is worth it. been the caged. I'm too scared to look for invisible walls. I'm just like, I'm just trying to find my way through first. Yeah. Plus side, this character does build meter very fast. So I should be able to get a stronger late game buff in the quest. Okay. <laughs> Little turret things. Is that a dolphin? What just floated by there? I think that was a dolphin. It just kind of went by. I don't see it anymore, though. There's your PSO trivia. Did you know all the aquatic life in Seabed? fan of this quest actually so far. I don't like the small rooms and like, one wave and backtrack. They were doing a pretty good job at avoiding that in the other quests. Nice kills. Right? Like if I just put a telepipe back, I saved a ton of time. That's what I was kind of liking about it. We didn't have to do that before. So where are we going? Or was there another warp? I guess there was another warp. Maybe I didn't see it was on the other side of the door. Oh, now I see it. It appeared afterwards. Hello, random trap in the hallway. Okay, let's proceed. Stacked objects. That's not bad decor. The team buffed. Yeah, 
Yeah, like, if I had a super high-level Sky ID Phone Newman, I might bring him here with Excal. Oh good, we can shoot through the objects. Thank you for checking. Hello, Morphos. Every one of those Morphos has a chance for Twin Blaze. It would be nice if we did get it. Zomba would also be good at some point, maybe. I've yet to see one drop with hit for me. Hmm. I kind of a pick a path here. Murdered. We're making progress. Not bad. Yeah, so as long as I debuff, I basically combo kill. That's fine. And again, I'm not quite at max ATP yet either. So maybe at max ATP, I'll be able to combo kill more consistently. I'm up to 35 meter, which isn't terrible. I'm gonna look away, then I'm gonna debuff. Or it'll just get help from existence. That also works. We'll take those. Did I get the instant freeze with the Rivarda? That was kind of disgusting. Unless somebody freeze trapped just as I did that. Hello, Rico, but wow. And Parameter is like, mm mm. No Rico box for you. <laughs> Just pulls the trigger, goodbye. There's our first Del Beater, which... Not too bad. Okay. So we'll see when our first healing circle is in this quest, if there is one. Oh, second? Did team kill the other one so fast I didn't see it? Monstrous. Leviathan has reached level 200. Congrats to them. Teams is too powerful. We slaughtered it? I think so. Because I was going to say, I don't remember fighting one at all. Oh, it's during teleporter shenanigans. That makes sense. Build the team up a little. So far this quest is fine, I just don't think I like how many mini corridors there are. You got demon mech? That makes sense. There's a white warp here. layout so far I guess they I guess they had a challenge of themselves see if they could reuse upper seabed as is I mean it's fine it's just I prefer mur murder arenas we're having a lot of just like one of stuff and I don't mind it but at some point I need like a murder arena so I'm hoping this leads to a murder arena I'm at 50 meter. That's not too bad. I'll take that for sure. You know, okay, I mean, there's a, if there's a decent number of enemies here, that'll make me happy. I just want something more than just, like, six enemies and then nothing happens afterwards. Okay, that's good. I've been smacked. Uh, 
Okay. Love the gel beater lasers. Oh, I'm gonna get hit for sure. As soon as I saw I wasn't fully up the ramp, it was GG for me. Oh, how... How far does that hit me with the charge? Game, please. Oh, I saw the demon mech. When that health goes like that, I'm like, mm-hmm. Oh, hello. Thank you for the freeze. I wanted none of that for sure. Yeah, that room was decent. Now more of those, please. Ooh, blue laser gate. Hmm. Okay. South route cleared? Okay. I guess we just go across now. I, I guess we could have split at one point? This is probably the more most confusing of the ones we've done. Like everything else I feel like had really clear indications of what to expect. But with so many warps, it's hard for me to see like where the other teams would like meet up. Like I don't think I had that question in the other ones, whereas like if we went to like jungle route or like mountain route, it's like, yeah, I can see where this room leads, but this one, there's like so many warps. It loses me on that, sadly. Yeah, Temple had, like, natural rooms that might do it. Like, maybe this was a room? Or something would happen. Nice Rico boxes on the ceiling. Yeah, mid-82 meter. Ouch. Nice hell. Show that Morphos, what's up? I do love the uh, giant bulky broadcast with the little teeny gun though. Gets me every time. Oh, oh that was just rude. That, that was that was the height of rudeness. Yeah, I'm reapplying buffs to people. Or not. Well, on the plus side team, I'm now at 100 meter. Power of a hunter here. I think we'll make up for lack of uh, other stuff. So two people are at a hundred. Guess the question is how close the parameter is. So I think we could probably just donate it. I don't think we should super wait long in this quest. So we'll, let's my blast in this room. Oh no, and parameter crashed. No, rip and parameter. Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. We could try to- I'm not sure how much of the quest is left, sadly. Ripping parameter, though. I mean, I guess we could try to donate to finish the quest? I'm hoping it's not more than, like, another 10 minutes. I feel like we were a pretty decent amount through. We're just clearing the other route, and then we have the final area, presumably. Yeah, we'll see how Chris, how close Chris gets. 90. Yeah, it might be worth waiting then. I'll purposely not attack so Chris can get more meter. Okay, we go a little further then. We'll let Chris focus on damage. Well, Chris, you should very be, very easily be able to do it. <laughs> especially, yeah, especially if you Vulcan. There we go. This should be, like, the meter gain central. I'll kill some of these just to protect Chris. Hmm. 
He should be incredibly close at this point. There we go, he just got it. Uh... I was about to type using twins, but... No. Oh! <laughs> ah! I wasn't ready! <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so lucky. You're so lucky I chose not to attack there. I was trying to walk away from the dolems. I was like, if something spawned down below us... We got there. So I was thinking this was going to open, and then I was going to use it, but then I saw Dolem spawn, and I'm like, never mind. The plus side combo kill potential. All good. It's a little jump scare. Here, don't beat her. I'm getting bullied. No, hard bully. Gotta hear more posts. Oh, that's a rude spawn. I saw it and then I was like, I'm just gonna whip the camera around so it shouldn't shoot me. Okay, I'm kinda glad I didn't bring force here. Would have been a little rough. But I think with this many ATP, we should be fine. I'm just gonna avoid the laser gate the first time. <laughs> I think that's my rule of thumb. I'm just I can avoid touching that. I think I will. There we go. My Rebarda level 20 is like a frozen shooter. They're so in our way. Get out of here. I'm already back up to uh, 30 meter, which is pretty good. Don't beat her. Goodbye. There's an up and a down. Is there... Which, which way did we go? Uh, I'll follow the team. Another laser gate. East route cleared. I don't know what that other path was. Guess we go up. Okay, that's that's a rude spawn. Seriously, you're gonna make me fight Dolems and the Morphos? That is so rude. Check my head on that one, chat. Yeah, it's like, man, not learn blind firing at the squid before you hit the morphos. That sucks. Oh. So, okay, so we're in here. I'm with Chris. Yeah, the Delve Beater spawns are not great here, not gonna lie. They're, like, really aggressive, or, like, a couple of them spawn behind us, which is super obnoxious. So definitely not a fan of this place so far. Are we coming out the secret exit? Yes, we are. Yeah, to no one's surprise. Not not feeling the seabed so far. Yeah. Yep, 
E S H E D dot D L L. And what is that exactly? Other than a library used by PSO. Is it like an add-on thing? I was wondering where the Dell Depths were. I guess they're all down here. Well, on the plus side, the Cenozoa is making sure that I hit 100 meter again. So probably in five minutes I can hit this much meter. You almost forgot to up for a thing? Oh no. You're trying to blank out your own memories. You're like, if I don't remember it exists, it can't hurt me anymore. Okay, the door opened up. It was weird because it drew the line, and I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't go this way yet. It showed me the hallway before I entered it, which confused me. And buy these things. I, I guess we're gonna go fight Olga Flo. <laughs> this is the corridor for it. So this is an example where no warp has now appeared, but then... Oh, okay. A little bit rude of a spawn. Let me heal a little more. I tagged it briefly. There we go. So XP wise, we're dipping into the not great numbers. Some of it is, some of it is three party members. A lot of it is just there's really big walks, and so far not really big payoffs so far. Like we're not fighting like twenty squid waves. We're not fighting like six robots. We're fighting like a Del beater in a ridiculous hallway that bodies us randomly. Speaking of which. So I got three minutes to build meter. I think I can do that. This always definitely gonna help. So I'm at 90 meter, not too bad. Last one is definitely hard carrying my damage. There's no lie about that. Oh no, that was fire trap, not freeze trap. No. I can't hit this thing. Del devs. Why? Why are you like this? idea what confused Del Death does. That sounds horrible. Oh, they're me getting each other? Oh, I don't want to be anywhere near that. No, thank you. That thing kills me every single time in Seabed. Oh, I interrupted it. Okay, good. That's all I want. Yeah, where are the healing circles in this quest? This this is not your fault. Think about how generous the last quest was. Where are the like the eight healing circles against this BS? I don't know. I think they I think they're slipping a little bit, Chad. We went into a new area and there wasn't a healing circle. Or unless they did something dumb, like hide it behind an invisible wall, which is like 
If if they did do that, I'm gonna roll my eyes. It, it doesn't really defend them at all. Use them all in CCA. Yeah, they're out of assets now. Uh, so I'm at a hundred meter. Yeah, they, this kind of sucks. Like, there should have at least been a healing circle in between, given the number of enemies. Like, just right there, right, right as we left. Unfortunate. Bomberman's trying to be happy, and like, no, we're grumpy. <laughs> Alright, so I hit a floor switch. What a weird area. about you, but besides those additional assets, it feels like vanilla seabed. I mean, I'm not feeling anything that, like, there's a lot of really weird warps, but, like, aside from that, I'm not seeing anything that's, like, fun waves to fight, if that makes sense. I would have liked it more if they had warped us to, like, most of the main rooms and had, like, a series of fights there. And you have like little mini walks or like small waves to the warps instead of using like the entirety of seabed. Like I understand they wanted some route split, but it's like... I don't know so far. Goodbye Del Beater. Triple Del- Okay, I'm using Rebarda. Listen, I- I've seen what happens if we don't attack them fast enough. I am tired of being negated. I refuse. I was like, don't- don't you dare. I was like, don't you dare hit me. Oh, everybody's at 100. Twins. Okay. Yeah, it just. They tried to do stuff with the rooms to make it split, but I think the problem is just Seabed is so linear with the hallways. There's not really... Like, like this kind of stuff. Like, this kind of stuff makes me not want to play it. Like, that right there is the perfect example of, like, why. It's like, you, you got me, I guess. So yeah, definitely this is their miss quest. Yeah, I would dot 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 that for sure. And it felt like the other quests were really good. It feels like really awkward coming from like the central patrol area and like this is what they decided to do for Seabed. Do you rethink, please? <laughs> right, chat, please. So yeah, this is definitely the, uh, the dud, I think, in the group, sadly. Which is a shame, because, like, the enemy numbers look mostly fine. Keep going, I guess. And then we'll take a break with the recording, and then uh, we'll figure out where to go from there.
Yeah, like they kind of got around it a little bit in central control area that there's not like a lot of quote unquote alternate paths to take. In a couple of rooms, they did split a little bit, trying to make it a bit different. But this one is like. It feels more like they're trying to use up the entirety of the rooms rather than doing something interesting with them. Yeah, that warp was for five feet. Oh, here's a healing circle. Wow, that took forever. Again, maybe one of the alternate rooms might have had a path. I don't think we went down every hallway. But like the fact that it's like super missable like that is kind of crazy. So even if they did put one in the first floor, it should have been at like the transition room would have been a better place for it. And you can have optional ones throughout, and I think that's fine. But yeah, that was like way too long for like a very easy... Because that was one I could see from the main room, where the other ones were like long hallways. You have to kind of commit in a direction. I don't know about that. I was gonna say, this quest is starting into a marathon for sure. Holy. I think the tower was fine from what I remember. If it's the one I'm thinking of. I don't think it was like overly terrible. Because I think it goes through both towers. It was one of the ones where I was thinking it was easy and then there was another tower and then I was like, hmm might be one of those. There were two that were like that we did in like a short span of time. Well, that was just super rude. Please don't hit me. I can't hit them. Nice freeze trap. Yeah, especially with Del Depths, you really need to give the player freeze traps, in particular for Del Depths. They are so hilariously terrible when you can't freeze them. Their evasion is just too damn high, chat. I almost wonder if I should have put a warp back where the healing circle was, so that way team could just take it and replenish. I think that would have been a better idea. Okay, we're getting into slightly thicker waves, I guess. Goodbye, Morphos. <laughs> what the heck is this? Get off of me. I froze one, GG. You tried to meek at me, I saw that. I absolutely saw that chat. What a monster. Poor Dango. At least you can enjoy some boss music. You can't see it, Chad? I just... I just shook my head. I rolled my eyes, I shook my head on that spawn. I want you to know. Seriously? Are you just gonna Delbeater me again in this hallway? You've been compoing every hallway at this point? I mean, at this point, I might as well as. It's just kind of annoying. It's not even like a challenge, it just, they're like, gotcha. It's your, I don't know why they made this room thin. That's a good point, I guess. I feel like we're about to get Del Beater really hard at some point. Like, it'll be like, Del Beater on either side, GG, it just kills you. Oh, speaking of which, it's almost like we fell in our heart, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Del Beater was coming. <laughs> it's like, that was timing, Chad. I'm like, I'm feeling it. I'm just... Oh, th there's the one on my side, of course. Of course, it was after the Rico box blocked my shot, so I couldn't shoot him. Of course. I'm almost back at 100 meter for Dango, if needed. I'm hoping this is the finale room. Whoa, what is going on here? 
I'm gonna try to bully the enemies out of existence real quick. So I just got Mag Blast. You heal Chris a little bit. So be thankful, Toriel. You dodged a bullet on this one. This one was not a fun quest. Like, there are some decent seabed quests, but they're a lot more rare. Did you... Did you drop a photon drop in the box? Oh, thank you. I was gonna say. If I couldn't reach that, I was gonna lose my... You put a poison room in here? Okay, screw this quest. We're not doing this one again. <laughs> no thank you, chat. No thank you. Why? I know, exactly. I'm like, the other quests don't do this. Why did you make this one have poison room? Look how much HP I'm losing. This is stupid. You know, it's okay for them to have like a more challenging quest, but like, this is not how we do it. I'm sorry. Del death. Oh, there I go. I knew it was gonna happen. It's inevitable, chat. Every time there's a Del death, I always die to Del death. I will just not focus one of them in the room and I will always get tagged by it. It's so terrible. Like, I'm busy fighting other things and just die. I'm gonna try to heal Chris so he doesn't die. Hopefully he can frozen shooter that. Is there a Sinozoa in this room somewhere? There it is. It's like, but why though? So yeah, this this one's going on the the, the dumpster fire. It went from just not enjoyable to just bad. Like, this is just not good. Please don't do this in your quests. Please don't put long poison rooms with, like, no healing circle or gimmick to avoid it. Or better, just don't. Just don't. I'm gonna go with just don't. It's not complicated. Just don't put poison rooms in that you can't immediately turn off. Like, it's one thing if it was, like, somebody had to go hit a switch and turn it off, right? Like, RT is fine with the way it does it. But this is just stupid. I'm actually too scared to mag blast because we'll just take damage during the cutscene. So now it's like not even worth doing. Holy. What is this? Oh, hell no. I'm dead. I'm instantly dead. There's no way I'm surviving that at all. Okay, this is also why you don't do, like, 5 Del Deaths. Yeah, chat. <laughs> yeah, you dodge it on this tutorial. This is why you don't do rooms of 5 Del Deaths. This is just nonsense. There's so much Megan flying around. I'm gonna do my best to hit them. Holy. Please don't kill me. Oh, I actually killed one with Rivarda. Like, just straight up with Rivarda. Please don't be kidding me randomly. I don't know where you are relative to me. I really prefer not to get hit. I died again, rip me. I think between just constant poison damage, it's hard for me to even keep... Like, I'm 171, and I can barely keep up with the damage I'm being dealt. Like, this really sucks. I'm not that low of a level or that undergeared, to be honest with you. Okay, can we please turn off the poison room? Alright, so if you were not here with the force, I think you would just game over. I'm gonna be real with you, I think you would 100% lose. If we did not have, like, super buffs and the ability to spam heal. Like, can you imagine if we were, like, Ramar triple cast? How unplayable this would be? Like, you guys would just run out of healing, for sure. I'm trying to heal Chris as much as possible here. But, like, I'm not built for whatever this nonsense is. Very disappointing ending. Disgusting. Let's get out of this quest. This quest sucked. I'm not afraid to say it. it that ending was horrible. It has no business being there. Pardon my French. It's normal English. Don't call it French rid of these yeah that was very disappointing given how well the other quests were with like good warps uh good pacing of enemies uh non-bs del beaters in the face it was doing pretty good and then like oof 
That finale was so bad. Well, I guess I'll put away the photon drops and such. Yeah, even with four man, it's just really not fun. Like, really, like five Del Depths in a poison room while fighting other things? I'm shaking my head, chat. No, thank you. Needs away for now. Yeah, the constant double beaters and morphos in hallways just got kind of annoying. It was to the point where, like, we could joke a double beater was just gonna hit us, and honestly, at the end of the quest, it pretty much was true. Every room. Yeah, I agree. Basically, game over music. Yeah, like, there weren't really obvious... If there were more than that, they were not, like, in a path that the main players would go, and we as a four-man group did not stumble across them. So we had one optional healing circle we found. I'm assuming there was at least one in the other area. But, like, compare that to literally the previous quest. Where it was, like, really clear where they were. If you missed one, there was one in the main corridor. Like, when you had the split choice... Instead of putting a laser trap there, it should have been the healing circle. Right, chat? Like, when we had to do the different routes, why wasn't that the healing circle? And instead you put a stupid laser gate there. Stupid. Disappointing. So anyway, we're gonna go get rid of these. Not good quest design there, sadly. Uh, so we just need to look at Penumbral Surge number 6. What were the breakdowns? 57 Illgills, 61 Del Lilies. I think we did White ID last time for this. Because Illgill is V502. White ID is Psycho Wand. So yeah, I'll switch off to, uh... Z-Bank 4. <laughs> chat saying they're amused at how bad it was. I mean, like, just like, what? Okay, chat. Had I not said anything and we had not looked at the quest name, would you have assumed it was the same author as the previous four that we did? Like, it felt like a copycat. It just, it did not feel like of the same quality for sure. Like, meanwhile, we saw rooms being used in very... Like, the closest was maybe the end room, where you had, like, the narrow corridor. I kind of like the idea of it opening up, but the poison room after that? What were they thinking? Yeah, it was the same creator as far as I can remember. We'll look again. I'll make another one. We'll finish this off. I'm gonna bring in a force. Bring in your damage team. Now, look very briefly. Yeah. Same author. Feel free to be disappointed. <laughs> no problem. Chris will join in again. Guess I'll bring in my power mag. Ooh, I left one of my add ups on the other character. That sucks. I really need to remember to put those away. I think that's the problem with switching forces. I just... I'm so used to just doing the back-to-back -back that I don't think about it that way. I mean, fortunately, this character only needs one at it, but I need to fix that later. Uh, did he have Heavenly Battle on? He did. Okay, so mostly just need... Heavenly HP to survive? I think I need that to... Or do I not need it to survive Epsilon? You know what? Let's not, let's not question it. We'll bring this for Epsilon. Accuracy's maxed. Get a bringer's rifle. Must have been a hell of an off day. Hmm. Okay, I'm bringing in four skip dolls. 
呃。Sure, if you want to hop in, Murphy, for tower. I'll bring in force. Definitely bring in something serious. Preferably with, uh, ATP. Random Masetta on the floor. I mean, I'll take it. Bonk. Ooh, Windows 11. I've been dodging that. Every time Windows updates, it's like, here's your little journey. <laughs> Do you want to upgrade? I'm like, no. <laughs> just like, stop asking me. When you force me to do it, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll just continue with security patches. I was not impressed last time I looked over Windows 11. Sort of inventory. So yeah, we have at least enough to go forward. I'll have to go back to... My other character to get some adips. Okay, so finally, exactly. See, they're on 1.6 chat. I think we can all agree it needed at least a 1.7, maybe a 2.0. Please redo that quest. It was miserable. Like, the Del Devs are more manageable with four people, but it's still, like, the poison room on top of that was just super, super unnecessary. Time to go to Control Tower. Yeah, very ominous work. Rip Bomberman tournament. Guess we'll go to Bomberman Max. Max 2? Or did we listen to Max? No, we didn't listen to Max 2 yet. Give it a second. Okay, so there's like a little console in the corner. Disable top floor effects. I'm gonna say yes. I don't think I want to see what they are, honestly. And then we have a little console over here. Did it call me four static thick? That's something. I'll get him eventually. Sorry to hear that in parameter. I will help team in for the group. I believe in you, group. I need to f feed this thing more diamates. Okay, I'm starting to recall this quest specifically. Yeah, this quest was fine. I think the second part, I rem it, I think I remember complaining about the, uh, there's like a zigzag of boxes, and at one point it puts like double murder flower there. If it's that, if this this quest, then that makes sense. I think it was mostly fine. Because we're talking about before, like, the best way to do tower is to not spam super tight clumps of enemies. And honestly, with the invention of on the spawn to allow for cross-episode enemies, it would have been nice to kind of have, like, a mix of weaker enemies followed by, like, big groups like this. So I'm hoping that that ends up getting used more in the future, or they talk about how the on this spawn works with other quest creators. I think the sad thing is though, Chad, even if I won one of like the contests to potentially create a quest, I I just have no idea what I would ask for. This episode four, maybe. Make episode two fun? Yeah, that's... I mean, endless episode two is fine. Maybe we'll do that later. It's like innocuous enough. Oh, 
there any browsers people would recommend? Uh, I feel like most people usually end up using Firefox or Opera. What does Trap Shooting Quest mean, Helply? So you're requesting that potentially for Episode 1 or Episode 2? I recognize what that was too late. That was my fault. That was not the quest's fault. I just was not paying attention. I'm, I'm allowed to take blame. <laughs> I know what I've done wrong. That was one of those, yeah, I, I definitely could have reacted. I mean, for me, it would definitely be a permanent on the spawn quest, I think would be in the highest caliber. <laughs> Endless episode 4, but you have surface enemies underground. Oh man, can you imagine how buggy that could be? Oh, just imagine how horrible, like, Dorfon, uh, <laughs> Grid <of> Blue would be. <laughs> just like, hold on, we need a quest that trolls everybody. <laughs> like, why, yes. I want Quadra Blue plus Astark plus. Maybe a Dorf, just a single Dorfon. And three zoos, of course. <laughs> Make it like the most unclearable room ever. Be like, I dare you. So yeah, these are our Psycho Wand chances. It's not very good odds, but technically it's a Psycho Wand for us. I got absolutely bodied. Your fun are famously burrowing creatures, that's true. Oh gosh. Since rumor on the rails walk and everything spawns in different patterns. Oh yeah, this is this is one of the rooms I'm talking about. Yeah, this is it. So okay, it is this quest. Oh okay. I, I mostly liked it aside from the zigzag boxes. I thought that was on the other tower. Oh. I thought that was in the other side of tower. Okay, at least I'm in range to deal with this as a force. It could be worse. Yeah, I think this was probably my least favorite room. Aside from, I think, the literally final room. One of the waves, I think, bothered me quite a bit. But then I think the rest of the tower is pretty tame. There's a healing circle for the group if you need it. <laughs> the sweet mercies of this quest compared to the other one. Yeah, like, think about how frequent the healing circle is compared to the other one. Please enjoy the healing circle for Freeze Trap re Recollection. I'm gonna go stand in it. There we go. Hello, Del Beater. It's also kind of funny the team could just fight from the healing circle, too. Needs more hallways with door farms. Yeah, we need the we need the frame one spawn hit you in the face, and if you're not a photo man, you can't deal with it. We need more of those. Oh, I'm gonna get shot. Rip me. I realized too late I pulled ag aggression. I started running, but when you target the enemy, you move slower, sadly. How many skip do I have left? Oh, I got four. We're good. I mean, I came prepared for this quest, don't get me wrong. Team's helping with the revives, of course. Just gotta keep applying debuffs. I mean, I'm sure they would probably accommodate that to an extent. And how Cleave is like, I want more cross formation lilies. You're gonna learn today. Tell that guy no. Well, I see when the demons kicked in, GG. So hopefully get a V502 out of this. Otherwise, probably not worth.
Pokemon Demons. So sad. I had a 100% chance to hit it. Whip twice. Speaking of whip twice. Wow, Demons, why? Why did you betray me? Come on. There we go. Don't make me get another Smart Link. I swear. I actually just bullied him. That felt good. The bullying was real. Reapply buffs to Chris. We're gonna feed this thing more Dimates. Me having ATV here kind of matters. It's a very red cat. Let's debuff. Check the boxes. Nothing of interest. Heal the team. Hello, Miracle. I almost have 30 meter to donate. Almost. The double freeze? That was sick. Got him. There we go. Now I'm at 30 meters of donate. Oh, that's a room. I'm gonna spam Rebarda and then debuff them. Team should hopefully be able to deal with this. Give team a chance to do something. Good job, team. Need some dive fluids. Why, hello there. Yeah, I think I leveled so that wouldn't kill me anymore. But it should do enough that... Actually, it doesn't do enough. I have to unequip it if I want invincibility. That sucks. Deleted. Uh, I'm gonna try to zap a couple things. Maybe put a Zalore out there. My other ability did not. Oh no! I want none of that. <laughs> All right, chat. No, thank you. Listen, I don't. I don't want to see the Olympic skating. Go away. Do a couple of zaps. I'm sure, where the other one is. Oh, there it is. Try to hit with the Razan here to slow it down a little bit. Again, I'm just Razanding. I'm hopefully stunning some of these. Oh, out of range. It was on the other side of the pillar. Come on. <sighs> Annoying. They put that pillar there just so I couldn't stunlock them. So sad. Reparted repeatedly. Come on, demons. Oh, Gibbles can jump over that very easily. Good to know. Stun the Del Lily, debuff the Del Lily, stun the Del Lily. Brutalize the Del Lily. Get out of here. There's another Ilgil here. Debuff time. 
Leave me alone. Wherever you are, go away. Nope. Don't want to be invited to the Olympics. Go away. I'm trying so desperately to cast spells. I can't get it off screen by stuff. And then also wreck my gel beater. Okay. I'm getting in close. Give this thing a hug. Get a couple of die fluids while I wait. So I should be in the middle to both demons and Zalor, both of these targets. Damn, team's getting hammered. Rip team. There we go. Yeah, I'm surprised Firefox is not working. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be like a Windows 11 thing. I, I usually go between that and Opera just because sometimes Firefox does weird things and it doesn't like to behave, and then some versions it works fine. Lately it's been fine for me, I haven't seen any crashes. Chad, it's like, thou shall use the healing circles. See, like, where was this in the other quest? Definitely a missed opportunity from them. No, I don't want to enable top floor effects. No, thank you. All by myself. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Technically still in central control area. Oh, no. Uh... I don't remember if permit is enabled by default or VIP. I don't think anybody's tried in a long time. Oh, that could have been so bad. Nice. Thank you, team. <laughs> it's like, I was panic stun locking by myself. I'm like, I'm not doing any damage, nor am I gonna get the kill. They take the trimate for sure. Oh, rude. Rose one. I'm gonna try to slow it down with Rebarda. That helps. to taking in the face pretty often. I'm at uh, 90 meter. The downside, everything here kills you instantly, so mag blast benefits are dubious. Glad I did not walk further forward in that room. That would have been real bad. This is a test of whether or not you can use the mini-map to find enemies. Oh, come on. I got insta-kill. Aren't I wearing three seals? What are the odds of that killing me? I feel like not that high. Jeez. So sad. Let me reapply my own buffs, I guess. There we go. Team's all buffed up again. Unless it's literally 100 DDK, then I guess it's slightly in their favor. I know what their scythe swings are, I don't know about their dash. Or if it was just a crit or something that killed me. I'm so glad we did not mag blast. 
so many murder flowers. Not bad. Oh, I can't target the nipples. That's unfortunate. Assuming team is the Del Lily. Del Lily. Ouch. This will help a little with it. Already, like, much better placement of healing circles comparatively. Live, team, live. Oh, it is on duty decay. That's unfortunate. Oh, oh well. We're almost at the final part. Here's some of these. Don't need to worry about that. I don't think this is the quest where we go back down the tower, right? It's just cleared and over. One of these. I don't really said that there are healing circles, pretty much. Yeah. Nothing exciting from the boxes so far, sadly. What a journey upwards that we are on. I guess the big question is, chat, what you would like to do after we're done with Penumbral Surge, because I figured it'd be nice to just see what these were in one video. Imagine the group is still looking for RT stuff in general. Ooh, split room. Why am I being shot by turrets? Oh no. <laughs> right chat? Oh no. Oh boy. Here it goes. I need out of here. Missed unlock them to the best of my ability. I think I debuffed them already, which is good. There we go. Get to play the game. There we go. I did big damage. I did like 3,500 to it. That's a lot for a force against Ilgil. Thank you, demons. Left escaped all behind. Probably should have gone back for that. It was on the same floor. Damn, untargetable. saying it's a blue screen of death. I wonder if I've actually had that. I've had that happen when I do OBS. And I have like too many sources open at once. It just like freaks it out and it dies. So I had to like trim a while back like last year. So if I had too many things running at once it just had a heart attack. It really did not like me having, like, multiple, uh, what's it called? Elgato sources on scenes. Because originally had them set up so, like, I had one for the Switch, one for PS3, etc. 
and then like having those both at the same time, it would just crash OBS constantly. But I don't remember what the DLO issue was for that. Other than I would guess it's an issue with too many things playing at once. Ooh, getting bodied. No. Rip. Is that my escape doll, by the way? Uh, that was a escape doll. Sometimes I can't tell because I happen to be actually using Trifluid around the same time, and I'm like, wasn't really paying attention to the graphic when I get hit by something. A little distracted, you could say. What a climb. Yeah, Lost- I think we- I think it was slightly confusing it with Lost Charge Vulcan, which is fine. I think this one was decent. I- I would potentially do this one again if this was an RBR. Just- we're- we're gonna say hard no to Seabed. We- we should post a list of quests to avoid, I think, in our Discord. I'll be real with you. Like, quests that are just not worth it in any scenario. I'm getting wombo comboed. I can't do anything. Damn you, Okil. I didn't use escape doll there. That's good. Only items there. Hello. Well, my HP is being drastically reduced. Ah, oh, this this room. Yeah, 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 this this quest. This one is evil. I'll need team's help on this one for sure. I'll do my best to unlock. It's all up to you, team. It was this wave and the uh, zigzag box room. I think had my least favorite spawns. Makes sense, because I think there are roughly the same floor. One on each side. That I, I hate both of those floors. Checks out. Oh, the miracle over there is rude. I think that killed me the first time we played the quest, because I tried going through the blue barrier to deal with them. Oh no. Please let me debuff. Please stop hitting me out of debuffs. Please. Stop it. Okay, Fro's one of the annoying enemies. Please land demons. Okay, there we go. I landed demons. Well, that was just rude. I was gonna say, what, what a struggle to get through some of those enemies. Holy, and another healing circle? Wow. Seabed, take notes. <laughs> Look how easy those are to find, comparatively. Look at where they are relative to the difficulty of the rooms. Seabed, please. Okay, I'm on the 10th floor. Ooh, stationary murder epsilons. That's disgusting. I'm my best to buff the team. Chris, meanwhile, is like, mm mm, not dealing with that. I don't blame him. Please don't clip me with something stupid. I'll be so sad. Hey, okay, dead. Did manage to lure it. So team got to actually hurt it a little bit at least. Nice. Oh no. I were oh no, I've been hit again. No. Need full health. Oh, there are a lot of bad things in this room.
Yeah, let's see I'm gonna try to record my emulator gameplay. Uh, yeah, it does sound like something I have with OBS. So my question is, for when you record it, do you have multiple sources on the same scene? Or how are you recording with it, I guess is the best question. Because I had that problem too. Even just them existing in OBS causes a problem, even if they're not active. What are these? Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, Rivarda. Oh no, I'm getting bullied. Okay, I got another debuff. Okay, my Rivarda is triggering, so I'm able to help the team a little more. Yeah, this final this final room I remember being a bit much for like casual clear. The first part was fine. I remember talking about that before, but the second part. Ooh. I wanna make sure you got a well-rounded comp. I really wish I could change music, but uh I don't think I will be able to. Something tells me with the pace of the instant death enemies that are spawning. I'll have to uh just focus on sunlocking for a little bit. Okay, I get one chance. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, in particular, if I was using, like, a capture device, that really freaked out OBS. It really did not like having more than one source in those scenes. Yeah, but if they're both game sources, and if one of them is, like, an actual link versus the other one, I would say that's probably the reason. Like, I just had two game sources, and they were the same thing, but just like one one active, one inactive, and that crashed it. It would just have like such a bits. It took me a while to figure out why that was. So if I really need to redo like my PS3 setup, I'll do it at some point. But yeah, it, it did not like having that. Uh, okay. But if it crashes just in general while playing- I don't think I've had it just crash if I'm not doing something OBS related, though. There we go. What a- what a series of enemies to fight. There we go. Now now we're seeing the full brutal cruelty of Tower. Toriel's like, dodge another one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Just don't tag me, and I think I'm good. So lure them both. Come on, demons. Yeah, there we go. Heal up again. Try to freeze. We got the double freeze. It gives us a good chance. Although I think Frozen Shooter froze the other one. Actually, never mind. It's two. Is it two? No, it wasn't two Frozen Shooters. That is a wave. Yeah, my advice is if you're using a capture device, definitely separate it. Game sources generally weren't a big issue for me. Like, if it was literally just like, I'm, I'm capturing two Steam things, it doesn't care. But specifically, if I had a device, it did not like that. It was like, it, it needs to be on its own scene with absolutely nothing else on it other than background. Or else it'll be like, I don't know what to do, and have a heart attack and die. I'm gonna take care of the insta-kill one. Everybody buddy up with your favorite Epsilon, or buddy up with me to help clear, whichever. I wanna make sure Mr. Insta-Death here dies. Is it... Ice is probably my next biggest threat. That's one down. The other one. To lord the other. There we go. The power of the lore chat. Let's do it again. <laughs> Get some of these. Get these. Power of demons, pretty much.
So there we go. Mission complete. Almost level. So we'll take a little mini break since that was quite a journey. And then chat will decide what we do next. Rip all those escape dolls. Some of some of them were used appropriately. A lot were not. Part of my max synchro so high. Uh, sure. Mine's also high. Definitely, definitely is a number. It has a zero in it. Max and I have synchro, not episode two. They're gonna wave their finger at you. Yeah, episode two is like, oh, did you want abilities? No. <laughs> so we put away some money at least. So yeah, I like that he has kind of like the ult mag. So I guess we'll give our final thoughts on those quests. So, Penumbral Surge 1, good. Spaceship, okay. Jungle, fine. CCA, I think also pretty good. I rate that probably a little higher than some of the other ones. Seabed, terrible. Tower, uh, questionable. Probably, probably my second least favorite, just because there are some waves that are kind of hard. They're not like the worst spawns, but they are kind of brutal. I mean, it gives you a lot of money, at least when you complete the quest. But yeah, kind of brutal there. So let's take a short break. And also say goodbye to YouTube. Tower bit of a slob, but not the worst tower quest we've done. Yeah. And we'll say, I guess, goodbye to YouTube for now. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.